Good one, guys. A little uh, windy today. It's a little windy today. Welcome in, friends. Hope you can hear us. How you doing, everyone? Welcome aboard. Hey, we everyone. Have, we've got Cora in the house. We got April. Hi. Got Liz. Raven. Hey, Liz. Raven. H -C Raven. Raven. George. H C George Metro. on TV Metro. We are currently uh, on Orth Avenue in the Bronx. So go ahead and turn it around and show. I'm going to turn it around. We're going to show you where we're all right now. So right now we are on Arthur Avenue. We are in the Belmont section of the Bronx. Uh, the streets hey, that are well known here hey, are Arthur Classy. Avenue. Classy, how you doing? Arthur Avenue and 187th Street. We are currently on Arthur Avenue. The reason why Anthony's showing you slowly this one particular side of the street is because this is where all of... Well, not all. Some of the most famous places, places are. are. You've got to tr visit when you come here. Is Straight Anthony ahead, already is unhinged, George asks? Not yet. No, Straight not yet. <laughs> all right. Straight ahead so, of us, we have uh, Madonia Brothers Bakery right there. We got it right there, Madonia Brothers. The retail market right there. We're going to be passing. We're going to be going through, through to these places. We are, as Danette said, in the Belmont section of the Bronx. Okay, so straight ahead is Adio. That's Anthony Adio. I, I actually, that, yes. Unfortunately, closed today. Well, this that's is Adio one of Bakery. them. The other one is a block away, straight ahead. And then there's Tito Brothers or Title Brothers. Title Brothers on the corner, the green place. All right. And green. also, happy St. Joseph's Day Happy St. Joseph's Day today. Take us in the house. Anthony, HC teacher, forward. Raven, Raven. I'm crossing the street. Alicia's in the house. We got Tejas there, Dennett. And oh, how wonderful. About that? Hello, That's everyone. Wonderful. We're getting uh, 40 people the, in with us so far. Oh, wonderful. The right crowd's now, the filing first, in. The first place we're going to visit, we're going to come back. We're gonna come back. But the first place we're gonna to the visit bread. is the is the um. Sausage we're gonna go store. to the bookstore. Can now I just say something, Anthony? Sure. All right. So I just want to let you know. Well, let's pass the music. Uh, da, 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 da. Just, just keep talking. We'll blot <laughs> out the music. All right. Go slower. So anyway, um, 187th Street and Arthur Avenue. The Belmont section of the Bronx is conveniently located near the Bronx Zoo, the New York Botanical Gardens, which is where we went and saw the train show, and also Fordham University, all in this section of the Bronx. So as we're talking and as we go into these places, we're going to give you a little bit of tidbit of information. And right here. Oh, the smell. Right here in oh front of God, the bookstore. Oh, my God, smell it outside. This is one of the biggest As you guys could here. see. They've got pork, celebrating 50 years. If I didn't say hello to anyone. If we didn't say oh, hello hi, to, Joseph. I see Joseph, Robert us, Kaczynski. Uh, hi, Robert, Sonia, Alicia, HC. What a wonderful world. Let's give it a minute. I just want to, oh my God, Anthony. What? We got our very first super chat. We did? I missed that. Hey, don't miss it. Don't miss it. Oh my God! Who was it from? Sonia. If you could see it, because I can't see it. Sonia with a dollar ninety nine super chat, and then right after that was Robert. Ah, uh, so Sonia, thank you so much. First, I don't know who was showing... first, but thank you guys. Oh my God, Robert gave a ten dollars super number chat. one ten dollars oh from Robert. Jo oh, and a dollar ninety nine from Sonia. Oh, joining the genius family here. Macaroni, I am so taken back by that. Like it feels that, weird. I, I feel the urge to buy a sausage. Well, Thank then you let's so do much, it. guys. Wait, before we do that, turn across the street. I want you to show Dominic's restaurant straight there. Dominic's. Amelia's over there. You don't have to. Yeah, and Amelia's. Just, Amelia's right over there. My brother's friend's sister owns that restaurant, and she is a great chef. She's actually the chef of that restaurant, Amelia's. And there's other stores, but we can't, you know, let's go back to the, uh, <laughs> let's go Hi, back. Adriana. Okay. Guys, Waxing Gibbous, hello. It's great to Waxing see you Waxing Gibbous, too. how you doing? Hi, Dolly Girl Twins. Dolly Girl Twins right, in listen, the house. I'm not going to be able to pay attention to this. So we'll gonna, be back in a second. We're going we go to go into the store. Okay, you ready? 
Thank you so much. Let's see. Where are we going? Look at this beautiful thing. Okay. Let's show you the picture. Pork. Is everybody ready for some pork? Wait, wait till you see the stuff right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So now, if you know anything about sausage, they have to dry. Let me, let me say yes. something. They have to dry, and it takes a long time for it to do that. Weeks even. So the ones that are all the way in the back, back there, are not for sale. Those, Those are the ones are not for drying. sale. They're still the ones close on to their the way register in. register are the ones that they grab. And hey, see the, the ones right there? Here. here we got the fresh sausages. Sunset Lady, how you doing? Happy St. Joseph's Day. Hi, Sunset Lady. And happy St. Joseph's Day to Joseph, our friend Joseph Taylor. And there's dinner. Why, Why not? Give me that. I can't take hey. it. <laughs> All right. Look at that. You guys, if you could smell. And there's all different ones. Like these over here. And they're, they're new. They're fresh. They are not ready for sale. And then look back. Look back there, guys. There's the thicker, heavier ones back there. Look at the light. And look what's here. Refresh. Okay, you do it. Refresh. Okay, Anthony, what are you going to get? You're going to get a uh, sweet? i got to get some. Yes. And then over here we have, I love these cheeses and the basket cheese. Anthony's mother used to always buy the basket cheese. Oh, yeah, she did. These basket cheeses were one of my mother's favorites. That's imported Parma prosciutto from Italy. This is domestic. Did you ever go to This is... Homemade pancetta rotolata, which is delicious and fattening. <laughs> Other salamis. Here's some olives. Look at the olives, guys. Look at that. Happy St. Joseph's Day. Yes. Some of the delicacies in Italy. Look at that. Is the um, yeah. You got to be nuts. Otherwise, we'll never get out of here. <laughs> you got to get behind them because we're here first got to teach him everything. I don't get it. Anyway, um, look at the artichokes. I love the artichokes. Love the artichokes. It's a truffle pecorino. Anyway, so the, the reason for this store, look at the, oh my God, guys, look at, look at the bacon. Look at the bacon. If you could smell the smell in this store, you would not believe it. You smell it outside before you even come in. Are we clear, Ron? Is it okay? Does it seem like it's clear? Do you know what to get? I'm just gonna ask what's special. You're gonna get a um, a dry sausage, not hot. Yeah, it's not. You don't want to get a hot one. You want to get a um. I can't do anything. Sorry, give me a sec. I can't do anything with with the gloves. Gloves and Tomorrow is uh, first day of spring, however, you wouldn't know it. You wouldn't know it from looking around here. It's too cold. <laughs> okay, I gotta show you this, guys. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at the oil. Do you see that? Mozzarella knots. And a half pound of prosciutto, please? Yeah. Yeah, see? See, Anthony? Look. Hi, Yuri. Thank you. Uh, there, you. You really were here already, Ann. I know. It's all right. I should have stayed in the front. But you can't stay where you're standing now? I guess I can. Oh, here's the... Yes, the weather is pretty cold. <clears throat> See the names up there, Anthony? That's where... Uh... Yes. Those are all the cheeses they have. That's super the those are the sandwich combos. You gotta get ourselves. Look, he's putting up a whole. Okay, so you wanna get a dry sausage. Dry sweet sausage, that's it. Alright, I'm gonna show them around. I'll keep showing them around. If we're losing signal or anything, it doesn't look like it. No, it looks good. 
Look at that. Look, he's putting up another pile of sausages. Look at that. Look at that, guys. So, if you, so, yeah, the smell of the meat in here is amazing. It just hits you. It wafts from outside. So, just to give you a little few more tidbits while we're waiting. It's just the, like, look at this. Look at this. Do you see it? Look. You'll take one of each. Jack Rab, you'll take one of each. So just to let you know, this is uh, uh, Dion from Dion and the Belmonts. This is from uh, the Bronx, from Belmont Avenue. The Bronx Tale was filmed here. Actor Charles Palminteri is from Arthur Avenue. And that was filmed here, the Bronx Tale. Just a couple of tidbits. Uh, Anthony, you need to walk yeah, up there. No, walk well, right here, right here. Okay. Oh wow! They. Um, can I get a dry sausage, a, a sweet. Okay, so Anthony just asked for a dry sausage. Let's see which, let's see which one he grabs. Right there, right on the front. Just like I said, see those are the ones. Uh, no, no slice. Yeah, yeah, slice. No. You want a slice? Yeah, can we Actually, have it sliced? Yeah, it sliced? I'm not slicing it. They do yeah, it best. Nice. Yeah, they do it best. Hey, Aunt, did you notice in the, did you notice the mozzarella in the in the containers? That's in the water and the and the salted water. water. Look at them, look at them managing all that. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> they have to manage them based on the age. That's right. My mother and father used to buy the sausage from uh, here, and then they would buy one that wasn't ready, and then they would hang it up in the kitchen. It was crazy, but they enjoy doing that. Let's see, this is... <laughs> You could easily spend five thousand, five hundred in here. Okay, yeah. Easily could. Let me just walk you over here. You could see all the different colors of when it's like, you know, there's different ones too. There's super sod. There's all different kinds. Oh wow, that's so cool. You like that? <laughs> Thank you, Ian. We're good. Thank you. Oh, you really, HC? That's amazing. Yeah, right, Raven? There's our sausage getting sliced. Okay, right there he is. There. He's slicing our sausage right now. Excuse me, I just have a quick question. How much are these? $13, thank you. I miss my father too, Raven. All of this coming here reminds me of my family. Came here as a child. I have so many memories just on the corner getting stuff from the stores and eating it right outside <laughs> with my brothers and other stories and other things. Hi, Tracy, great to see you. And of course, getting Manhattan Special at your store, Raven. <laughs> so look at that. Does anybody else like prosciutto? This is the one from Italy. And, and this is the, the one from America. These olives vacuum packed in it. Wait, does that look like, oh, is that a pig's snout? Oh, is that a pig's snout? Is that a pig's snout right there? I think it is. Oh my God, that's the head of pigs. See, that's why Arthur Avenue uh, is, is special. Is there anything else, babe? No, that's that it? it. That's it for me. Thanks. Arthur Avenue is known for getting all Italian specialties. And it was $9 for a whole uh, dry sausage. Well, well worth it. So it's known for getting Italian specialties. Yes, you can get Italian food in the other neighborhoods in the Bronx, but not from Italy, imported. Okay, let's go out. And we're heading out. Bye, dry sausages. <laughs> now, we could easily get their mozzarella because I'm sure it's delicious. And there's so many places that sell fresh mozzarella. There's so many places that make it delicious. Look at Anthony's hat. There's so many places that make delicious mozzarella and many people feel that that one's the best and that one's the best. So we're gonna head over to Casa because we're gonna go straight because we're back where, so what we're doing is what I was saying about the mozzarella is they make fresh mozzarella every single day here. There's Mike's Deli in the, um, so you can get the mozzarella almost anywhere you go because they make it fresh every day. Mike's Deli 
is in the um, retail market. They're closed today. And just to say that a lot of the stores are closed today, but that's okay because today's St. Joseph's and, enough open. and we want to go to certain places today to show you and we can't go everywhere. There's so many different places to go to. There's so many businesses that are open. There's so many businesses, I should say, that have been around for over a hundred years. The history in Arthur Avenue is amazing. And, and then newer ones, there's right? newer ones, yeah, right. For only like 30 or 40 years. Yeah, the newer ones are 30 or 40 years, years right. So here's one of the um, spots, the cafe, this is new. In the middle here, they roll the cigars. This is the cigar place. They're not doing it now. So the market is kind of closed. So we just want to show you really quick what they have. Really quick, it's usually this. You see, you can't see anything, they're closed. So why don't we just head out? Let me just head out. We'll come back when it's open. But Mike's Deli is down at the end and uh, their mozzarella is delicious. Oh, look at that. People are enjoying some good Italian bakery stuff. All right, so. And the retail market was kind of created like back in the night. Huh? The retail market, like other markets around the city, if you want me to take it, was kind of created in the 1930s. Because at one time, they, these streets were lined with like all sorts of push carts and vendors in the predominantly, like basically Italian neighborhood, Little Italy in the Bronx. And uh, there were push carts everywhere. And then a lot of the retail markets were created by Fiorello LaGuardia. Go ahead, you can keep talking. Fiorello LaGuardia, who was the mayor at the time, back in the 1930s. So in the 1930s, all of these retail markets were created, like Essex Hi, and uh, several other ones. And one of them was this place over here, the Arthur Avenue Retail Market, which put all the push carts inside a, a place where like uh, residents could go and do basically like one-stop shopping. <laughs> Right. Instead of just walking around to the push carts, you went in there and you went in the retail market. And they had, and uh, that's thanks to uh, Mayor LaGuardia. Thank you, Adriana. These are my new glasses. I don't know if you could see my eyes better. I got them with the, out the glare, so they're glare free. <laughs> anyway, so now we've just come out of the market. We've come from the. Uh, if we missed anybody store. else, was there yeah, enough? No, Did I'm somebody sorry. else send a super chat? Oh, I'm not even looking at my phone. All right, let me just say, Anthony. Oh, thank you, Sheila. I don't want to miss Please anybody. Sheila. Well, like, Sheila's give them a, like a thing. They'll let us know. Our They'll let us are the know. Best. We got anyway. the mods. I always get the worst push card. <laughs> the worst push cards. <laughs> okay, so just to let you know, when you. I love how Danette bends my arm around. I'm trying me to say something, like I'm but a, you keep talking. Like I'm a GI Joe. Sheila also was famous for reading. The Sunday comics. That's on right, the radio. Jack. <laughs> Good job, Jack. That's right, he did. I didn't know that. During the depression. So when I thank you. <clears throat> so, um, Sam, so when I when we walk back, so we start at the sausage store and you walk back this way, you pass the marketplace and you pass a lot of restaurants and now we're going to one of the bakeries that one of the bread stores bakeries that are open on sunday madonia they're always open hi randy hi harry w great to see you and um what i want to say is that the reason why um arthur avenue what are you doing what are you getting doing a, getting the reason, can you. you guys can hear me right hi april uh, the reason why people come to, I was saying in the store, come to Arthur Avenue <laughs> is because you can get all the specialties, the Italian specialties. The Italian specialties. And I'm talking about like you just saw that head of the uh, of the um, pig over there. You can get like, you can get sell. things that you can't always get. Isvenge. Isvenge. Anyway. Sunday is not the day that everything is open, so it's kind of a little quieter, which I like, and I wanted to go to two specific places today. Hey, Margaret. Hi, Margaret, Alicia. We wanted to go to two specific places to show you. One Joey. for lunch. They call it dinner at 1 o'clock, but we're going to go at 1 o'clock. It's Italian it's dinner. Italian restaurant, and the other one is a bakery that I personally love because they make the pizza rustica for Easter. 
and yes, yeah, sausage Correct. bread. Hi, Sandra. And sausage bread and is right here. We be, and olive bread is here. And we buy, <laughs> we buy the, when we come to Arthur Avenue, we buy the pizza rustica and we get the Italian cheesecake and we get that stuff. And, and the prosciutto we want to go to that bakery and show things. you how great it is. Yes. But you don't I, have to, hold on, one more thing and I'll be, I'll show I you. I have to ask you a question. What? What time is it? Oh. Well, anyway, it's not time yet, but I want to tell you something. You can go to the stores and pick up a great sandwich. You can go to the stores and pick up all the specialties and go home and make your lasagna. You get, you go to the Bugatti ravioli store. They have all the fresh pasta. You can make those things, or you can come to Arthur Avenue. It's 1230. Or you can come to Arthur Avenue and go to one of the amazing restaurants and find yes. the most authentic Italian food made delicious with those same products coming from Italy and also yes. try different things. So um, you are making me so nervous. I can't fit. You just want me to stop talking. Thanks, Sunset Lady. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Um, anyway. Um, I haven't said a word. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, oh what's she and the pasta, about? you know if you're Italian, is al dente, which means it's not cooked well. To it's the cooked, tooth. Yeah, it's bite, and it's delicious. The this bite. is where they make it right. You may go to your neighborhood Italian restaurant, and it doesn't. <clears throat> they don't make it right. And they don't use fresh pasta. Everything here is all handmade, homemade, fresh. You find that and pretty much. The Tracy best Ellison. time to come here for me, for my family, what I remember growing up, is coming on Christmas Eve because you get all the things for the holidays, everything you need, including the fish, including the bread. Italians love bread. Let me stop talking. We're going to go into Madonna Brothers. But you sure you want to go in there? Because the look. cheese shop might close at one. Let's go to the cheese shop. Come on. Is that what you wanted to tell yes. me? Yes. Oh, well, then you should have told <clears> me. I would have walked. <throat> all right, turn it around. I couldn't, <clears throat> I couldn't interrupt you. All right, so you talk about the cheese <laughs> shop. Before you talk about the cheese, cheese shop, I just want to say something. This store right here, this Whoa. store that is closed today, buying Cardi's. Being Cardi's. Being Cardi's. All right, walk and I'll tell you. When I was a little girl, I would close my eyes. As I walked, we would go to Ad Adio to get the bread. First, we would go to Tito Brothers, which is right there. We'd walk to <laughs> Adio, but this is the fish market where you can get... Yes, Costenza's. Where you can get your fish. You would walk from Tito Brothers past Being Cardi's and being cardies hold on in but i don't want them to not hear me okay so hear you. i'll hold that stuff. no it's okay it's not heavy so we would go from tito brothers past here this restaurant right now which is a gyro place used to be a place where they would um get the poultry they would kill the the um chickens in there which scared the crap out of me then after that was um the fish market then after that was being cardies where they had whole animals hanging literally lambs for easter hanging the whole body and i would close my eyes because i was so scared and i hated that store for that i hated it i was traumatized you would see whole pigs you would see i can't even imagine just thinking about it then after that was adio we would get the adio bread then you would walk just a few more feet, and yes. you would go to Madonna. And Madonna, Il brother. Il Tramatico. <laughs> Il Tramatico. And, and Madonna, my mother would always buy the fresh breadsticks, homemade breadsticks. That's what I always remember. But she bought lard bread there as well. All right, go ahead. Now we're going to get close to the cheese. So we're going to go. Just talk about it. So we're getting close. We're going to go visit Casa della Muzzadao which is uh, one of the well-known cheese shops in New York, famous for their mozzarella cheese, which they make like, some places make it in the morning or a couple of times a day. Casadella usually on a weekday when they're open the whole day, they're making it 20, 30 times a day. Mozzarella. Now that's 187th Street right there on Arthur Avenue. That's 187th Street. We're hitting 187th Street. Street. We're going to make a right. And on 187th Street, we're going to find the cheese shop. We're going to talk to you guys soon. They're also famous for their sandwiches. Okay. And, and 
Gardens. On this side is also DeLillo Bakery and Egidio Pastry Shop. Yes. And straight ahead is the Bugatti uh, Pasta Store. Pasta I was Store. You about. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Pasta Della. Cheese. Pasta Della Mozzarella. And Danette. There is a line. I am on line for mozzarella. But I'm in the door, so they can't throw me out. I made it in before one. Right, it's Dinette? not that close to one, I don't think. It's 22. Oh my God, look at that. Anthony, I know. Look at the line. The li and it's a very small store. You just go in and go out. That's the way Egidio used to, not Egidio. Uh, Question of the Lilo. day, did you bring five battery packs with you? <laughs> um, We've got nah. our new phones and they won't die as fast. So we They won't die as fast. Them. They won't die as fast. And Everybody we do have battery packs. Here, welcome aboard. We've got 49 people watching. I'm happy to have you all here. 47 watts and 32 likes help classy reach 100 subs, Ron says. Hi, Heather W. Heather what did W's Ron in the say? house, bring it in here. Hi, Leela. I'm so sorry we missed you guys. We're so excited to be here. It's Ron been a says while. 47 people watching, 50 people watching, only 33 likes. Only 33 likes. Let's get some more likes and let's help classy reach 100 subs. Oh my God, she didn't get there yet? Classy's not reached 100 subscribers yet. That's right. See, HC has has uh, uh, sharing her stories too. You'd go to the cheese store, the pork the store. The cheese store, the pork exactly. store. Exactly. You go to tell, the bread store. Tell them about your about your mother and her sister, and her twin sister okay, so, and their mother walking so growing walking up, through the freaking like mm -hmm. bitter cold from my mother. Neck. My mother is a twin. Her sister and her were the youngest of nine children. And when they were young, my grandmother, their mother, would walk to Arthur Avenue. She's from Italy. And they'd walk from Frog's Neck to Arthur Avenue before I-95 was even built in Frog's Neck, right where the white, where the Frog's Neck Bridge is. And um, it took, we saw on our GPS that when we passed Frog's Neck, it was 11 minutes away by, well, it's really 15. By car. By car. <laughs> so my mother and my grandmother, Danette, I what? <laughs> Wait. I am your 16th sub, by the way. Who said that? Ron, I don't understand. You were, the six, you were number 16th? Really? Anyway. It's just oh, so maybe he must have been Classy's 16th. So. Oh, Classy's, okay. Yeah, it's very busy because they close at 1. And remember what I said, on Sundays, a lot of the stores are not open. Or they close real early. Or they close real early, like this right. One. So we want to get some cheese um, before they close. Anyway, they used to walk to Arthur Avenue and then walk back with all the stuff. And we'll talk Arthur Avenue here. from Frog's Neck. <laughs> There you go. Well, I Put want them to be able to hear you. Oh, okay. And, um, anyway, so I eat. Well, yeah, if you're right, come back, because I don't know how I'll come closer. So on uh, Christmas Eve, we always get the ravioli at the Bugatti store. Then we walk over and get the cheese. Then we get whatever. We don't come here that often, right, Anthony? That's right. I believe we come maybe once every two years, or if there's something we really want. We do go to the Botanical Garden, so sometimes we'll stop by and maybe get some Terra Nova bread. Down that way, about two blocks, is you could talk about the Terra Nova. Yes, the Terra Nova Bakery. It's like a couple That's blocks away. It's actually here on 187th Street. The Terra Nova Bakery is a bakery that like sells a lot of bread all around at grocery stores around New York. Like you can go to your local uh, key food and get a bag of Terra Nova bread sliced. And that's the bread we take home and you toast, toast it and you it. have it with oh butter. Oh my God, it's the best thing in the world. It's the best bread. Oh, yeah. Who's it, Johnny A in the house? How you doing, Johnny Azaria TV? Hi, Johnny Azaria. Johnny Azaria TV, welcome aboard. We're 56 people in the house. So, nice to have you all here. You love the Terra Nova bread, Raven? Oh my Raven God, knows what so she's talking good. about. Yeah. The Terra Nova is the good stuff, right? Yes. 
They were a block away, I think. They're two blocks away. Two blocks away? Yes. Two whole blocks? <laughs> and when you look at the bread in the window, you're like, oh my goodness, which one should I get? So yeah, we Anthony's right. We had to come here before one because Madonna and your brothers is open, I believe, till nine or ten tonight. They're about yeah. to, them and Delillo's nine, open. Like, they're open till like six. Look what they have here, but of course they do, Raven. Look what they have, Raven. My best. <laughs> oh my god. The fennel tarot. Tar oh my god. The tara. We never knew how to say it, so my my father used to say tara. Did you ever try making it? I love the fennel one. The tara. Manhattan special. Oh my god, I love it. And father would go ta da. What did what did Alicia say? I'm sorry, Alicia, if I'm missing anything. And the sauce that made it, if you wanted to buy it, like nothing in a jar. Of course, no, nothing like in a jar. All right, let me turn it around so you could see some of the goodies. In this store, you want to get so much. Look at this. Now, remember, we came from the sausage store, but you still still can get sausage here, see? But it's not, like, hanging. But look at the olives. We already, we already uh, got the sausage. Yeah. Who likes those oiled cured ones? Those are delicious. <laughs> and of course, you gotta have a little brioche for Ajita later. There was a brioche on the, on the uh, counter at the deli. I also wanted to come here today because I want to feature stuff with Easter, and this is our first Easterish kind of uh, stuff, right? Besides St. Joseph, Easter is coming, and during the holidays, these stores are packed. I mean packed. People getting ready to uh, celebrate with their families and make all their goodies, right, Aunt? Yes. Did you see those, what? those provolones hanging? The giant provolones Oh, no, we didn't get to ceiling. that yet. I could barely see it. I have they my reading glasses on, so I can't from see the far away. <laughs> my I made this it is to special to us. We don't come here that I didn't bring my giant provolone carrying case. Get the hell out of here. So, you're out of breath. I'm sorry if we missed so much, but we will be watching it later. Oh my God, they just said they ran out of bread. But you know what, guys? They can't make any sandwiches. It doesn't matter because you could go to the bread store. Only a few feet away. Oh yeah, they make the most delicious sandwiches here, by the way, guys. They're known for their cheese, but oh my God, their sandwiches. The only reason why I'm not getting it is because we're going to a restaurant. And we can't get everything. Oh, I love those mix olives back there. And we're not getting there. the sandwich because they ran out of bread. Oh, yeah, they ran out of bread. That's right. They ran out of bread, so they can't make any more sandwiches. Look at that. Fresh white anchovies. Look, look at the... Look at that. That's so Italian. Right, HC? White anchovies. Look at that. I love roasted peppers. See those roasted peppers, the yellow and the red? So delicious. You're doing a good job, then. You're there making they go. me hungry. Look, there's the guys. Look, now you gotta move over and squeeze to get by. Watch this. Here comes, here comes the customers. There they go. Look, it's tight. It's tiny. They tell you to step down. There's no way to go. Look at this. This is my favorite. I love artichokes. Look at those whole artichokes. What do they got here? Antipasto salad. Oh, sorry. Anthony, tell them what you want. Uh, do we want anything else? Um, do you want any olives? Or olives? Can I get some of the uh, oil cured olives? The black olives? Just a little, though. Yeah. Yeah. A small container. Yeah, a small container. Do you want an artichoke? Yeah, and uh, one artichoke. Or two artichokes. Whatever you want. All right, let me get, let me get through. Excuse me. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. You're fine. Look at the prosciutto, guys. Look at the prosciutto. Those are real arrocchio prosciutto. Those are cheeses hanging. This is the smoked mozzarella. This is prosciutto and mozzarella. Again, the smell in here is amazing too. Here's the little mini Orochios. You can get your own individual. They have the meats in here too, because I told you they make this, the sandwiches in here. 
There's the roast beef. Right, the two sandwich, buddy. Yeah, right here. Yeah. First bite, first bite. The mixed salad or the pork Hey, come over here so you're missing other things. No, no, no. Anthony, look, you're missing other things. Look what's I'm missing here. Missing other things. I'm missing look, there's the other cheese. No, I think that's enough. You got the three things? Oh, we're going to the salad. Yes, I did. And there's those too, the straccia. And look at the little tiny orochios, round and did you ever see that before? Anthony. Yeah, they have Pecorino Romano. There's, there's a mozzarella. What, what did you get? Did you get salted? I got a mo hidden eggs. Oh, okay. That's, That's it. it. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. I'm so sorry. We're going to be out of here in a minute. Well, look at this, Aunt. Aunt Scamosa. I love Scamosa. <gasps> no. How many cheeses could we eat? God's sakes, look at that. Look at the scamosa. Did you see the calabrese cheese? Hi, touring different places. Great to see you. Touring different places. Calabrese cheese with the spice. Thank you. Twenty-two fifteen. You just have to pay the girl, Aunt. You're going to pay the girl. Look, these are different cheeses that they have, see? Okay. I go check. I call you back at the same number, okay? Uh, old school. <laughs> old school. <laughs> old school. <laughs> On a piece of paper. Look at the difference in the colors. Thank you. Look at the different colors. Look at the smoked provolone. Look at it. Good mm. goat cheese. All right, Ann, you just got to pay. See the bag? <laughs> Anthony, you just got to pay. That's it. All right. Excuse me. All right, let me get. I'm gonna meet you outside, okay? Yeah, I gotta squeeze through here. Excuse me. So sorry. I'm getting through. Excuse me. Oh, look at this. Wait a minute. Marinated eggplant and sun-dried tomatoes. Look at that. All right, we'll meet him. Okay. I'm just gonna go over here and wait for him. All right, let me see what everybody's saying. Are the prices good or bad, Joe? I don't even know. Oh, don't be homesick. Don't be homesick. You'll be back here to visit probably shortly at the end of the year and come meet everyone. Calabrese olives, those are very small. Look what they do to marinate it. They put bay leaves and they put like cherry tomatoes or cherry peppers rather, not tomatoes. That's what gives it its unique flavor. Okay. And then over here, you can also get these Italian drinks. You see them? The San Pellegrinos and stuff like that. Italian stuff. San Ben Benedetto uh, water. All right, you ready yet? <laughs> See, there's their the hours. I know, there was a guy there that was uh, a little bigger. I, I know what you meant. And the two of us were pressed between the wall <laughs> and the countertop. We were like this. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta do it a different way. <laughs> <laughs> we were jammed. That was it. We were gonna be trapped. They yeah, were gonna have to bury us there. <laughs> bury yes. Us in the deli. That's right. <laughs> Look at the oh, touring different places. That's a great idea. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. All I'll right, let's what. go. Put the, uh, put the uh, sausage in here, too. And then are we going to go get some bread? We got to go to the bread shop. I'm sorry, guys. Give me a sec. Is it one yet? When the restaurant opens up, buddy? All right. What time does the bread close? Uh, bread. Oh, do you want to visit Terranova? Oh, no, it's 1252. Oh, no. You want to visit Terranova? We no. only have six minutes, let's so go. no. We don't have enough time, it's far. As soon as I leave, I'm homesick, but my kids are here, so yes, I agree. Please, no olive size shaming. What? <laughs> <laughs> George. <laughs> no, no shaming on our on channel. Here's the, the full moon pizza. 
I don't think it's that great, in my opinion. But, you know, I'm a little snooty when it comes to pizza. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's better than Queens. It's oh, 100 times better than Queens. And they've been open since uh, 1976. They've been here a long time as well. Yep. All right, so now that was 187th Street. We turned, and now we're back on Arthur Avenue. I can't believe well, Which, that. by the way, I can tell you the reason. The, uh, this segment of the Bronx, which is called the Belmont oh, section. Oh, Joseph, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, did you want to say? This segment of the Bronx, which is called the Belmont section of the Bronx, is kind of named the Belmont section because this was an estate back in the 1700s. For, uh, this was an estate well, called Belmont. Belmont. It was an estate owned by the Larolod family, I believe. Yeah. And uh, when the when the the city took it to like use the estate and divvied it up to make the botanical gardens and the Bronx Zoo, part of the estate that was uh, there was a street crossing crossing the uh, the avenue. This street, the woman who owned the estate at the time. Ka I believe her name was Catherine Lorillard Wolf. She asked that they name the street that was passing through this section of, of the Bronx uh, Arthur, after her favorite president, Chester A. Arthur. Now, why anybody's favorite president would be Chester A. Arthur, your guess is as good as mine, but that's the reason that the place is called Arthur Avenue. There has to be a reason. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say. We don't know. Met Chester A. Arthur once at a backgammon tournament, maybe. Is that a guess? I don't know. That's just a guess on my part. Right. So we'll see. I see Robin in there. Hey, Robin. this Chop Skull Theater, Hi, Monica. How you doing, Choppy? Chopperific. <laughs> We are going here. We're going to go and look at some bread. We're going to go and get some bread. We have to get the bread to go with the cheese and yes. the sausage and the And, the and then we're going to pop the Then we're going to pop across the street for early dinner, late lunch. Passing through, but we're going to stop here at the bread store first cuz we got to look about some bread. We here in Arthur. Now, for anybody just joining us, we're here at Arthur Avenue. Sunday afternoon, right, Danette? Yes, happy St. Joseph's Day and happy early fall, spring. Tomorrow is the first day of spring, although you wouldn't know that today. It's very yes. cold out here. Even though it's uh, getting close to spring, don't forget to bring your hat, your gloves, your, del your layers of and your coats and sweaters, you and your love of everything. I'm All right, guys. Okay, so here's Madonna Brothers. This is the bakery that's open on Sunday. Go a little closer so you can see the bread. Yes. Now when you, when you... How about some prosciutto bread? There's a pork chicola bread. That's what they call it. Oh, did you smell that when the door opened? Oh man, the door oh. opened. Anyway, what I wanted to tell you is my mother would get the lard bread at an Adio, but they have it too, which is very delicious. Here it is. Yes. And this is the lard bread. If you could, see, well, I can't see it. It's too glary. We should go All right, inside well, and on. show it. There's the meat, right? A little different from this one. This is just pork. See, it's just pork. And this one here, if you look closely, that's got other things in it. Now, this is the place where my mother would get the fresh uh, breadsticks. Delicious with the seeds and without the seeds. But. Also, the bread here is phenomenal. Supposedly, you see they're, it? Famous. Look, they're supposed they're no, to be famous yeah. for their olive bread. Look how thick that one is. Get a load of this loaf of bread. What's going and on? Here's like Tuscan bread. You see? Anyway, so yes, they're known for their olive bread, which I don't believe we've ever seen. I mean, had. I don't remember. All right. You want to get the olive bread? Okay, let's, let's go inside. Oh, the smell, guys, look. Oh my God, if you could smell it. And look, here's the fresh tadal you were talking about. Look, they have the fennel, 
They have red pepper. There's the black pepper. The pinoli cookies, the pound cake. Look at this, guys. They have some pastries in here. Anthony. Yes. Do you know what you want? Yes, there's an olive bread. Where's the olive look bread? Look French onion bread. <gasps> I've never seen anything oh, like that. Look at I that. never saw anything like look that. Look at the jalapeno bread. Man, look they at the dark chocolate the bread and white chocolate bread. Holy macaroni. Look at the cranberry scones. Oh, look at the chocolate swirl cookie. See, that's up my alley right there, cookies. Look at the strawberry longs, they're called, and strawberry rings. Here's the sourdough bread. Garlic flour bread, look at that. I guess you just pick it off. Do you want it sliced or no sliced? No, no sliced. Look at this. Um, anything else? Um, oh, do they have the breadsticks? Um, the breadsticks just in the bag. Just in the bag. Just in the bag, honey, they have the breadsticks. Uh, unless you want it. Um, yeah. This is the bread we're getting right here. All right. I'm just going to let you guys look for yourself. Look at the different colors. That olive bread was $8. Look at this. Look at the rainbow cookies. Oh my God. Look what's over here. Anthony, you gotta come over here when you're done. Look at this. Bark. I know it's like hard to see. Look. Look at this, guys. It's almond and hazelnut patties. I see pistachios and I see. I see pistachio patties, so I see pistachio and some kind of like caramel. We got chocolate covered pretzels, butter crunch. Oh, look at those, it's called the Bronx Chunky. They're making their own chunky. Anthony, look at that. Is that the Bronx Chunky? Yeah, but look at this right here. It's called the pistachio patty. Look at the bark. Oh, it's so hard for them to see, it's terrible. Okay, here's a freaking wall of biscotti it's a wool of biscotti guys thank you ron put on glasses so hi kathy hey great to see you you want one you guys want one of these look it's a double chocolate biscotti it's a wall of it Wait almond, a minute, wait a minute. almond chocolate dip biscotti uh, oh biscotti. man look at that guys I'm sorry. chocolate biscotti yeah. Anthony, this one's orange cranberry walnut. Look at it. I might have to get it. Okay, well, which? Each. what do you want? You can't get one of each. That's right, too many. Right. I gotta get it. The, 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 are you, are you flabbergasted? Then, Wait, I'm, there's more. Pistachio chocolate chip. Look at the pistachios. Toasted almond biscotti. Chocolate chip biscotti. Jawbreakers, those are the hard ones. Those are delicious. You know they have like honey in them, right? This is Anazette. You always were given that as a child when you're a kid. When you're Italian, you were given Anazette biscotti as a kid because you needed to learn. You needed to learn to eat Italian. You needed to learn to chew. <laughs> you needed to learn to chew. You had to learn to chew. <laughs> oh, look at that, guys. That is St. Joseph's. That's in the refrigerator. That's the St. Joseph's, and that's the cream they put it in. Do you guys remember these things? The Frigels, the Frizzels? I never liked these, I still don't like them. They're hot, they got black pepper in them, but they're good with scongeli or sauce. And now they have their breadsticks in a bag. I mean, they still look good, look at them. They still look delicious with the seeds. But I guess Anthony doesn't want that. Okay, look at him. Look at the wall of the biscotti. Look at it. Wow. So what are you getting? What are you getting? Oh, look at the cannolis. <gasps> look at the cannolis. Those look delicious. Go ahead. Just go by piece. I'm going to tell you which ones are. All right, which ones? What do you think? Double chocolate. Get me one of those. A double. 
So two, get two of those? Two of those, two of those, two of those. Okay, so just tell them. Tell them. Right. Uh, two orange cranberry. Two uh, almond chocolate dip. You never had those, meaning you almond never almond had biscotti, you mean? Fresh. Hi, Holla. This is the anti-keto portion of the stream, I guess. We're not keto, so... We're not doing that. <laughs> Everything there was very fresh, totally worth it, and I thought the prices were very fair. Yes, can tip and D. Right, Raven? You remember that? <laughs> Joseph wants an almond one. Of course you do, Joe. <laughs> we need to go to the Jewish bakery for that, not Italian bakery. Okay, we're going to go to the restaurant now. So this way we could um, go ahead and talk to you better. This place has been here for over 100 years. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the history in this place. Isn't that amazing? And it's the same family. Still the same family owns it. That's over 100 years old. Thank you, Heather. I remember coming here as a kid, like really young. You know what? So like 100 and the years And the place looks the same. Just, I remember the, you know where the, um, you know where the uh, breadsticks were? They're where the biscotti is now. And there used to be like hundreds of them. The girl would go and there would be hundreds of them, man. And the girl would just say, uh, how many do you want? And they'd be laying on top of each other, these huge biscottis. Here's more frizzels. So I don't like frizzels, and that's the yeah. thing my mother don't used step to on get. That. Yeah, I was telling them. I told them. My family liked it too. With, you have it too. with the sauce. You're crazy. All right, let's get let's get going. Yes. This is not the. Uh, yeah. All right, now why don't we do this? Um, do you want to talk to? Well, let's step down. Let's step down. Talk to them for a second. We're gonna go in the restaurant now and have some. Nice lunch dinner. I don't know exactly what we're going to order, but they're known for their pizza. Uh, yeah, their brick oven pizza. Brick oven pizza that I've, we've never had before. And um, all right, let's go now. Hey, maybe we should put this stuff in the car. I am. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do that. Here's Marone's pizza. Uh, Marone's uh, bakery. Another bakery. See, they're getting ready for Easter. They're getting ready for Easter, look. Oh, it looks good in there, too. They got the St. Joseph's. They got the St. Joseph's, too. Hey, is that Barbara? Stop, Anthony. Stop. Turn around. Turn around. What do you mean? To where? Take this, and I'm going to oh. put this... Oh, you meant take the, the camera. I didn't know what you meant. I want to bring this to the car, and I'll be right back. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you, honey. They might not be able to hear you either. How about I get away from this guy? I know. Sounds like I'm not sure who it is. I'm gonna move up. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just gonna go over here away from the music. All right. And you talk. That's all right. I hope you're enjoying this little trip to uh, the Avenue. Nice music. I don't know who it is. I don't know that that's Barbara. I don't think it is actually. Who we got? We got Joseph in the house. Hi, touring different places. How you doing? But I do not go there anymore to corporate how I don't know what Joseph is talking about. <laughs> Randy the slot wizard is here. How you doing, Randy? It's good to see you. So, Owen Meyer. Welcome aboard, Owen Meyer. How you doing? Owen, oh, we're here in Arthur Avenue in the Bronx. Getting some goodies. Then that's going back to the car. She's dropping off some of our stuff. She's already on her way back. I see her off in the distance. Anthony, are you enjoying uh, Raven, you're enjoying the tour? Enjoying the tour of the tour of the Bronx? Sheila G, how you doing? I didn't see you before. How are you today? It's Danette. How you doing, babe? Sandra Flores, hello from hello to you in Tampa. You ready? Yes, I am ready. Why is he holding a I don't box? know. 
He's got too much. He's holding a boombox. It's just too much music for me. I'm going to talk over the music. Oh, that bakery looks good. I'm going to yell over the music. Okay, stand behind me. Yes, I will stand behind you. Should I turn it around to see the place? I'm putting it down in the restaurant. Nice place, right? It's beautiful. Look at it. It's like a grotto. Looks like a grotto almost. We're inside. Thank you. Right behind that wall. It's very nice in here. Yeah, you want to give a little tour? I don't really no, I'd sit down first because I don't know where everything All is. Right. Yet. Hold on, let me do it this way. You can put it on the thing on the table and yes. turn it around to us. Okay. Yeah, pop it around to us. Hello there. It's so Italian in here. All right, I'm gonna. The like guy said bon appetito. Yeah, I know. All right, let's nice. give us a second. We're just taking a coat off. Yes, wait. We're derobing. We are derobing. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. I really okay. Have... Whoops. And Danette is running. Looks like a pizza. What did, what did uh, Monica say? This looks like a pizza place I ate at in Florence. It's supposed to look very much like, uh, like, like, is it like the feel is supposed to be like an Italian grotto? Like you see, like the the light fixtures up there. You got the 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 light over there. So it's supposed to leave there, like to give you this idea, like you're inside a. A grotto, very Italian. The owner is uh, Chef Roberto. The name of this restaurant is Zero Otto Nove, which is zero, Z E R O, Otto, O T T O, Nove, which is N O V E, which is basically the area code in Salerno, where Chef Roberto is from. And he's also the owner of Roberto's restaurant around the corner. Tell us one of your long, short stories. <laughs> no short story, your long story in here. Too Italian for long, short story. Guys, I'm so excited I need to calm myself. Heather, thank you. <laughs> Don't fly off the handle like I do. <laughs> we got our dinner menus. Did she do it like a little tour? We're live, we're live streaming on YouTube. You can show. Yeah, baby. Yeah, can I have cold ice water? Okay. All right, they're filling up really quick. I'm just, oh, I didn't know it was my face. Let me show you really quick. There's a back room here. Let me see. Here it is, look guys, look how beautiful. Look at it back here, guys, look. How beautiful it is. I just want to show you really quick. I'm sorry. I just want to show you really quick. This is where they make the pizza. Look. Oh, wow. And look at it from here. Look at this. You see that? 
This is the hot pizza. How long does it take to make one pizza? A minute and a half. That's it? Whoa. A minute and a half. How hot is that oven? Oh, look, he's making it here, guys. Look. How hot is the oven? 900 degrees? Amazing. Look at that. Okay, there's a cold cut cutter. Maybe we should have been seated in there. Maybe we should have asked over there. Hey, Anthony. And it's, a lo it's loud over here. Can we sit back there? Would that be all right? Because it's a little quieter. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, thank you. Will you ask or should I ask? Okay, thank you very much. It's quieter. There's music here. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. I do it's totally It's beautiful get it. back there. Is it, is it really Anthony, nice? the guy. Is it really nice it's really I nice. Yeah, about. it's really nice. Maybe he doesn't want us back there. I don't know. I don't know why he would want it. I don't know. It's probably the dissatisfaction. No, I know. It's filling up really quick. But it's quieter there, and they're making the pizza. Oh. Oh, they're making the pizza. It's a thousand degree, nine hundred degree oven. It takes a minute and a half to make it. A minute and a half to make it. Anthony. I'm ready to get up Can we move? Okay, he's asking. He's asking. I'm ready to jump. I'm ready to make a move. It's very quiet back there, and and there's room. There's actual room. So, do you have to go to the bathroom? You want to wait for me? Um, yeah, wait till we see if we can get moved. Wait till first. we see if we can move around. Then I'll see. Owen has showed up. Uh, oh, hi, has Owen. Arrived. How are you doing? I said hi to him. Owen's here. Monica says it looks like a, pl like a place she ate at in Florence. Oh, wow. I, said, I told them the name of the restaurant is Zero Otto Nove, which is the area Trattoria. code of Salerno. Yes, yes. It's the area code in Salerno where... Can we move in the back? It's quieter. Is it all right if we go in the back? Oh, wonderful, thank you. Oh, it is quiet. All right, do you want to stay here then? Oh, let's just check. Let me check. Let check. If you want to move You know what it is? You can hear people talking back there, but here's the music. There's a lot of music. I don't here. think he's right. I think it's back of the I don't know. I don't know. The net felt it was quiet in it. Oh, you Anthony, it's go so in beautiful in there, though, man. The lighting. Oh, so she likes the bit of lighting. She I was like, where's that room? And did you see it? Did you show it? Looks it looks like when I, I was in Sicily. Yeah, they saw it. it. Did you guys like it? Uh, it's quiet because people are eating. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Great. Can you say this? Yes. Oh, wonderful. You're the best. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Can I get Bye. Oh, you can leave it. Okay. Thank you. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Sometimes you just have to ask. There's some of the kitchen. Look, it's like a grotto. Isn't it cool? I feel like I'm in Italy. I love this. Anthony, wait till you see it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Now, would you like to sit on this side? No, I think, uh, yeah, whatever. I don't care. No, you could stay there. No, we're going to sit here, right? You want to sit down? Uh, so they could see the kitchen. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So they could see the uh, stove and not people. Yes. You know? Let me just uh, be realistic. Okay, we're here. Do you want this side or this side? Yeah. Which side? Like this that side? side? No, actually, you know. You want this side? Need, okay. On that side. Alright. You want the rest. And actually, you go for me. The visit the <laughs> Look, even the lighting is better. Go through the exit to the right of the exit. Look at this guy. Extra virgin, guys, extra virgin olive oil right on the table. Right on the table. Right everywhere you go. All right, sorry for sending you all over the place. Let me move the olive oil out of the way before I spill the water. The lighting's better in here too. Oh, thank 
like you, Adriana. Yeah, it's kind of like it's got holes in it. You're very observant, Adriana. So there's the, look, my head is in the way, but that's the, the pizza oven. I think we have to get a pizza just because of that, just because of the pizza oven, and that it only takes a minute and a half. I want to see how fast. Anthony, would that have been an air Italian cover shirt with their music? So let me explain. Anthony's not here right now. He went to the men's room for a moment, but let me explain. Copyright. You don't get a copyright. You get a copy. You don't. No, you don't get a copyright strike. Hi, Michelle. It's not a strike. A, you get three strikes, you're out. Right? You got to remember it that way. It's a cop. It's a copyright. And I forgot the word now because I can't remember words. It's called something else, but not a strike. A copyright strike is you have to do something really bad for it to be a copyright strike, not music. Do, do you remember, Ron, what it's called? I forgot now. It's a copyright, copyright something else. When he comes back, he'll explain. <laughs> Copyright strike is like, say you have nudity on your channel, or you do something against the rules, like really bad. You will get a strike. If you get three strikes, they'll take your channel away. They'll actually turn it down, but not a strike. Thank you, George. Everybody go subscribe to Sunset Lady. She is amazing. Her son is Blackie. He uh, is with her in the car. They show the sunset. Her daughter is Gil, and she's in the chat. A wonderful, wonderful, wonderful family. The sunset is gorgeous, and we love them. And they're almost at a thousand. Thanks to you guys because you went there, and you and you went and subscribed. Please go and subscribe. I want to see her get to a thousand. She really does deserve it. Talking about sunset yes. lady now, and the big boost. Now, not infringement. No right. Uh, no, Jack. They were just asking. A, a sunset lady was asking about strike, and I had told her. That when you when they play music, it's not a strike. To it just have a means you might not get paid. But what is it called? A claim. Claim. That's it. So if you get a copyright claim. claim, that means that you might not get paid if you monetize. Not paid. But a strike is like having nudity or doing something totally bad on Stealing your channel. Stealing from somebody. Stealing from someone. Three of those. That's right, Ron. Claim. Three of those, you're out. Your channel gets taken down. Yeah, but a gets copy taken down at least temporarily. Claim, it just means you don't get paid. So if you go on yeah. our channel, like you would have seen a lot of claims because we play a lot of music. Although actually, we, you know, I'm going to actually uh, bring that up. Is that it turned out to be less. Yeah, we True claims more. than there actually are because they change the rules slightly. Also, they That's go YouTube, over That's YouTube, constantly it. changing wait, wait. the rules. Red flag challenge. Wait, yes. it is bad to get a copyright claim other than getting paid. Yeah, so if you get a claim, you won't get paid if that's yes. what you care about. Yes, it doesn't about. affect your channel in any but way But your channel, whatsoever. nothing happens to your channel. You can have them all claims and not yes. get paid. You can, you can turn your monetization off. Turn the monetization off. off. The claim doesn't hurt you as a channel at all, except payment. Hi, how you doing? Hi. Good. Um... Uh, like, do you want a drink? Do we want a drink? I do don't, any, but do you? Uh, you know, uh, since I'm here and it's Italian. What goes with the, uh, what goes with, because I know a pizza, we All want right. a margarita pizza. What do you suggest to go with that as a drink? Beer? Do you want mm. wine, beer, or would you rather have a different drink? You could get a... I'll go with the Peroni. Nice. nice. Yep. <laughs> We're going to share the margarita, right? Yes, and then we're going to order something else. So, just over the margarita and let me see what happens. Thank you Great, very much. Great, thank you. Excellent. Pizza margarita. <laughs> I love this place already. It's Trattoria Zero, zero. like zero, Atto. So, that is zero, eight. Is it nine? No, no Nove for nine. Nine. And zero, I've, eight, I've nine. been wanting to come here for so long. Hi, Sa. Hi, Stephen and Sonia. Hi, Stephen. Fox, how are you doing? I hope all is well. It is all in the well. Let's see. All's well that ends well, folks. I was afraid about that, hence why I avoided walks for a while. To mute the music simply because of it. Yeah, but that is because of It's because you don't want to get paid, you don't yeah. you don't want to lose the money that you might right. monetize. But you won't get just hurt for the on heck the of channel. it. Yeah. Which, you know, if it's accidental, and also they changed... And it's the, annoying. I wanted to point out that they also have changed, recently changed the rules again. All of them? Or just the, some uh, YouTube has changed the rules about copyright claims. 
copyright claims means that the monetization, the revenue from your video goes to the copyright holder of the music, usually it's music. So like what they did in, introduced is something referred to sort of like a half measure. Some videos that have a copyright claim might be called copyright sharing claims. Oh, I didn't know that. Which means you share the revenue percentage wise with the holder of the copyright on the song. Like for instance, if it's not a recorded Look song. Look at that mural, isn't it beautiful? And it's live music. If it's not, it's hold on, slow it down. If it's not a copyright, say that again. If it's not a recorded song. If it's not a recorded song. And it's a live performance. And it's a live performance. Or it's a. Oh, wow. Now that's gorgeous. Thank, Thank, Thank you. And it's a. Live performance. Live performance. Or it's a cover version of oh, a song. Oh, like the cover bands, you mean? Like the cover bands. You may be hit with something called a copyright sharing. And so what you'll happens share then? the revenue. You'll get some revenue but you won't get the full 100% revenue from the video. Part of it will go to the, to the artist who has the song. Here is my Peroni. Does that say Peroni right on it? Uh, I would never have Peroni? guessed a beer to go with pizza. At least you don't eat that. Definitely. <gasps> what classic, is that? Look at that. Classic Italian. What is that? That's is that the, the baked the, pasta. Is that the pasta That's with the, the hard-boiled hard egg? hard boiled eggs. That's pasta al forno. Oh, they had a pasta pizza too. I guess the pizza's Alforno. sweet. All right, I don't want to interfere. Italian food is, is not incredibly, is a little weird and not incredibly anti-carb friendly. Right. <laughs> well, anyway, yes, uh, HC, the reason why you saw the advertisement is because oh Anthony turned the uh, monetization on, hence why we have the Super Chats earlier. And we uh, really, an really do appreciate beer. it, guys. This is good George stuff. is sending lime and salt to go with the beer. Okay, mm. let's see if there's something else you want to get. See, we had this whole discussion last night. About what oh to my get? God, Steven. Steven Fox. Steven, Steven Thank Fox you so with 1999 Super, Super Chat. Thank, Thank you, Thank you Steven. very much, Steven. Oh you are the Another best. Memorable Everybody day. out there. Nick, Nick, Roy, Roy, $10 from Roy. Thank you so much. Love Those you guys. two guys are the best. This. Anybody you, out there that loves the Knicks. Yes, please drop your sports link. Sports Vibes Roy TV, and uh, Steven. Uh, Sport Vibe TV. And Chop and the Skull. Knicks, and Chop Skull. She's fun. And Roy. And Ron. Roy TV Explores. And, and Roy Ron. Explores, yes. Roy Explores. Thank you, Roy. I Great really people. appreciate Great that. Great people. Here. You guys are the best. Can I Is ask you a question? You want to ask what? You want to ask something to Steve? I'm going to ask a goofy question. Is it base basketball related? Roy, it's, it's, oh, Roy. it's super chat related. How did you send us an even amount of money? How did you send us Oh, yeah, because it's always 99 I can never send anybody anything that doesn't end in 99 Oh, and then Jack, Jack. just said, Jack, Jack happy thank St. you. Joseph's happy St. Joseph's Day. Thank, thank you so much, Jack. How do you guys yes, do that? Go. You can't. I can't do it. On he doesn't know how to turn it over from 99. I, see what I mean? Chuck Stone. Thank you so much, Monica. Thank You're you, the Monica. Best. Oh my God. I didn't from, say that uh, so you Monica. guys could send it, but you guys are the best. It was an I love example. You guys. <laughs> so kind of you, of course. <laughs> So let's see what they say. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so we really much, appreciate, you guys. We really we appreciate that. We love you More guys. More than you know, you guys you don't are the best. Know. And you don't have to do that, but we love you, really. Oh, every time we get together, it's just so warm and fuzzy in here. Thank it's you so much, It's always warm guys. and fuzzy in here. Super That's chat amazing. train happened. <laughs> Good question. Super chats from the computer are rounded up. Oh, I didn't Round know that. Up. On the phone, On it's the 99 phone. cents. I can never get it, no matter what I do. I can never get Roy? it to, to, to round up. Okay, now we know. Now we know. That okay. Was it. All right, you become a full time YouTuber. Danette, you can become a full time YouTuber. No, I can't. I need my job. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, she can't. I have a great I job. I love you my job, that, like, and I'm your, not doing your it. Your super chats put us all, put us, made us our first dollar. Because we were at 99 cents in revenue oh until we went live today. We were at 99 cents. So the very first Super Chat put us over a dollar. Actually, probably the first Hold on. Let me need to read some people asking questions. Hold on. People first, Jenny. Questions. Hello, guys. The weirdest thing happened. I had my phone in the kitchen charging, and all of a sudden, I heard a man's voice. It was Anthony. My phone went on. Does people... 
Does people's phones do that? No. I don't know. Another paranormal problem for Reverend Jenny. Is it paranormal investigations? Thank you, Stephen, for saying that. That's wonderful. Your phone went on because geniuses like myself can control your phone from great distances. No, Alicia, you don't need a thousand subs to go live, no. She said she tried Not to go anymore, live. Really. I've seen you no. live. You don't and need a thousand so subs to go live. I'm so sorry, touring places. I don't know it what you asked. Now Give you me need a hundred. Give me a minute, touring. I think you asked before, touring, if we can, like, share the video with you. We uh, That's beyond our uh, capabilities right now. We don't, don't know how to do I, I that. I don't know how you do and that. And we wouldn't be doing that today anyway. We, we, we've got things... Uh, plans here, so we're eating, so maybe next Let's. time, but I'll, you can always, touring different places, send us a message, if you want to, we'll talk to you, on raspberry, raspberry swirl 6 at gmail.com, and I, we will be watching this over, if everybody knows knows us, we watch our YouTube uh, videos over to we see do. what we missed, and then we laugh and laugh, because well, you guys are hysterical. <coughs> Heather W, a ten dollar and four sending the amount of super chat, sending the so amount of subscribers. Oh my God! You Thank guys. you, Heather. You guys are the Thank best. You, the Bring best. Thank you, Heather. Bring it over here. Bring it over here. Okay, he said a minute and a half to make a pizza. It should be ready soon. It's a minute and a half. Okay. I'm gonna get that margarita. Thank you I can't so wait much, to you see guys. It. Every single one Thank of you so for much. sending you me super chats. Nicest. Thank you You're so really much. Nice. Appreciate this it. This beer is nice. She is, babe. Grab yourselves a Peroni because this beer is good. And to you guys. I'm gonna now. As far as Reverend Jenny's phone coming yeah, on and my weird. voice being on it, I'll tell you right now. Geniuses like myself can control your phone from great distances. Oh, Jenny, thank you so much. I, I love you guys. Your beautiful souls. May thank the you Lord so bless much, you Reverend always. Jenny. Oh, thank you so and much. And I did not Reverend use Jenny. my powers to make Reverend Jenny oh, do that. Jenny. That's just because she's nice. Thank you, HC. You guys are so wonderful. Thank you so much. It's yeah, it does, doesn't it, Alicia? I, nice. Anthony and I you have guys never. Are the best. Don't apologize to her in different places. You didn't do anything no, 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 wrong no, no, at no. all. You're welcome here. Come here every single time. And it's okay to ask us anything. You can ask us anything. anything. Seriously. We may not answer every question. <laughs> but if we can, we will. But we will allow you to we ask any question. We love you to be question. here. And you can ask anything you, you, you want. If you have a channel and you'd like to share it, Somebody dropped the link. HC dropped the link for touring different pace places. I don't know if we've yes. ever checked you out. I don't remember that. Thank you, Classy. But yes, you're welcome here always touring different places. All right? Yes, everybody's Everybody welcome is. here. Everybody's welcome here. As long as you don't you curse gotta, us out. Yeah. And then you I might just do, laugh anyway. <laughs> you got to do something. They know. They're adults. I, to, get, to get kicked out. <laughs> so what are we getting? Because... No, this is what I was telling you guys. Anything for upcoming Easter? Are you, who asked that? Are you Only guys for really anything? bad behavior. Would we you are ever making feel something, anybody but true. it may not be. Here's a little answer for you, George. We are making something, but it may not be food. Now that's not oh, true. I'm gonna make something for Easter. I don't know what yet. It's oh, not you're welcome to in different places. No problems at all. It's don't actually, worry yeah, about we're anything, not making okay? food. But then that is technically. I am going to make the. Uh, making something. I am making something, and I am going to color my eggs per usual every year, like I do. She is going to color eggs. Okay, so, but wait. I want to look at this menu. Mafaldi. Mafaldi is a place in Italy, isn't it? I think it's a pasta. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't mind that, especially for live stream posts, so something is possible. To yes, you don't need a SIM contract at all, of course. No. You could just I don't know, Sheila. I don't know if you guys want to see that again. You could go live with any kind of phone. That let's is let's order and then we'll come back to talk. Street. Let's just look really quick and then I want to tell um, you guys something. How right. good it looks depends on the phone. All right, we'll talk in a minute. Let's, because the guy's going to come back and he's going to ask us what else we want. Do we you want to get uh, an appetizer like meatballs? Where's the appetizer? The parmesan. Okay. Meatballs. You want meatballs. Do you want meatballs? Do you want the meatballs with the goat cheese and polenta? Would you like uh, to get um, uh, the Parmesan uh, eggplant? eggplant. It's a, as a as little portion of that, Parmesan eggplant. Um, ooh, they got stuffed calamari. They um, have stuffed calamari? Yeah. Maybe, where is that? On the bottom. It says saute. Oh, I got I, my glasses, I still can't see. Then has a glasses on, she still can't read the words. <laughs> 
Um, what would you rather have? They also have clams, baked clams. I feel like having some fish. You feel like having some meat. They have baked what clams. What do you think we should get? What do you want? I'm asking. You gotta eat it. Should we go with it? For, Thank for you, AC, for doing that. Anthony, did you make a corned beef for St. Patrick's? No. I did not. I wish I had. Sidebar. Let's talk about this first, though. I wish I had. Wait. Go ahead. Tell me what you want. Wait. What, uh, are we getting? What are we getting? Anything else or just that? I'm gonna get. I might want to get that big pasta. I try that. I like pasta. I don't know. Is that stupid? Is it too many carbs? Too much? Oh, well, you don't have to finish it. You take it home. You know what? I don't know. Well, why don't you look? See what you like. No, I'm gonna ask you. What do you want? We're having pizza. We're right? having pizza. Then it's a little having? pizza. Hi, Breezy. Good to see you. Breezy that. Chambers, how you okay, doing? Okay, we're having pizza. Then what are we having? I want to get a, an uh, a antipasti. What do you think? I want to get an antipasti. Would you rather you, have a feel? fish? Would you rather have meat? What's a fish? Like the calamari? No, the like um, like little neck clams. You want the, the, the baked little neck clams? Do you want that? I love baked clams. That's why I'm asking. I know you like it. Would you rather have that than the eggplant? Would you rather have that than the meatballs? Do you have to have the meatballs? No, I don't have to have the meatballs. Do you want to try the meatballs? I'm a little neck. I don't know. It's it's interesting. You want little neck uh, Um. Do you want the little neck clams? Yeah, the little oh, neck clams. If you had to suggest a pasta, because we've never been here before, which one would you suggest? I would say the radiatore cartoccio. The pasta, the fresh pasta with the basil pesto. Burrata cheese and cherry tomatoes. And everything is cooked in a foil bag. Grilled. Oh, it's grilled. It's like a grill. Yeah, it's, it's cooked in the foil. Yeah, in the foil bag. Black cherry tomatoes. Oh, Ooh, that sounds interesting. That's up to you. And the pasta is a fresh made. Fresh made pasta. Uh, what is the mafalde? What is the... It's like a ribbon pasta. A ribbon? You want to try that? we got to use the radiator like a radiator pasta. Oh, that's the... Different shape. Oh. Also, it's a fresh made. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to order the clams and then we'll think about them? Do you, you know what? I'm going to order some clams of Raganato and then we're going to like run it Look through at our that head. Little so little this little is little the, uh, you recommend the Radiatori in the, in the, in the, in the, in the Yeah, in the, uh, like I said, all the pasta that are fresh made. Oh, it's the fresh one. That's yeah. why. That's the fresh one. That's the fresh all one. The, everything, pretty much everything is fresh made. The way we do here with the Radiatori is all special. Oh, it's all special. That, I can say the pasta al forno. Big the pasta al forno. That's what the gentleman over there yeah. has, I know. That has meatballs in it? Oh. Meatballs, salami, subisada, and cottage cheese. Okay, you choose. Just choose now. Uh, I'm one. I'd like to try the, the, uh, the... Okay, so we're the, going to uh, say the one that you... The radiatory. And, and the, the, and the, the clams. The and then I'm going to Perfect. Clams. Thank you yes. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That guy is so happy. <laughs> A beautiful enjoy your day so he suggested the one it, where it's the, the one, fresh Ford, pasta the fresh pasta for the day cartoccio, which is cooked in tin foil on the, in grill, the grill with pesto with burrata cheese with we're gonna show you we're gonna show you we're gonna eat we're gonna show you oh jenny we are, we are in oh we didn't tell reverend jenny trattoria cero ato nueve nove which is trattoria Zero eight, zero eight nine. Is that the address? That's the address that's, of a burger. That's the no. no. Zero eight nine is the area code in Salerno, Italy, oh. where Ro Chef Roberto yeah, is Yeah, extra from. roll aids, right? Kathy. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy. Oh my goodness. Chop, Thank you for the super sticker. Is that what that's mom. called? Thank you, Chop so Skulls, mom. That's a, that's a sticker. That's, that thing is cute. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's adorable. The thing is cute. I don't think I ever really paid attention. Yes, when April. One of those April came so by. many great, uh, great uh, choices. Actually, that's a super sticker. I didn't know what a super it's sticker a super was. Sti I had no idea. Is that a super sticker? Is that a super sticker? I don't know. I think it's a super sticker. sticker, right? All right. So tell. They tell, have other things that are called super hold on. dupers or hold something. Hold on. There's two things we have to is. talk about. So first. First, last night, I kept telling Anthony, I want pizza rustica. I don't want to eat too much here because I want to get a slice Super of pizza sticker. rustica in the, del in, the, in the bakery we're going to. But I don't know if they sell the individual slice. And you know, God, you guys know how much I love pizza rustica. If you look at last year's videos, we have, we have the day before I made it and the day after we had the Easter special where we, where we ate it. And that's when we first met George, I believe. Anyway. Yes. Anyway, Danette and George were talking about that yesterday, she yes. told me. Yes, and also, so, you're drooling, Heather? It didn't even come out yet. 
And what was I saying? I have a feeling he didn't put the pizza in because he's, they only take a minute and a half. I don't, he was waiting for us to decide. You see that? All right, so anyway. What's sorry for? Hi, Liz. Sorry I've been watching until I found a cousin. Oh, no, don't be sorry. Yeah, we did, we did Ancestry too. But anyway, oh, the soup looks amazing. We have to come back here. So anyway, um, so Anthony says, we're coming to the restaurant. We have to order something. So we'll see what happens. She kept now. saying, I don't want to order this. I don't want to order that. So wait, I don't want to order this. So you got to get them, something. Tell them, tell, uh, uh, what's his name? I'm so sorry, guys. I don't remember names. I don't remember what things are called. Yes, it's your first year anniversary. One year soon. anniversary. Uh, tell Stephen what happened. We, we I was oh. working till eight last night. I then was I working worked till eight. So we, we went out to eat, right? We, yes, we went. Was it last night? No, it was uh, no, St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day. Ago. And I was working till ago. seven yesterday. But last night I worked till seven, eight on set on Friday. Friday was St. Patrick's. And we were going to, thank you, Kathy. We were going to the diner to eat um, St. Patrick's food because the year before. The year before. We had gone to last year's St. Patrick's Day, maybe the first time. Many of you had seen us. We didn't even know we were on. We were so dumb back then. Because geniuses like ourselves didn't understand how YouTube really worked. Anyway, we were at the launch of Carl and James' new book. And right. we um, were there, and uh, we left. And eventually, eventually, <laughs> eventually uh, we were on... James was live. We didn't know he was going to be live. We don't know how this We works. didn't know James was live. We were standing place. next to Seafot. We met him and his mom. We met, I believe, uh, Johnny Azaria. Didn't we didn't know, know it was him. Was. And uh, was Michael Rossano there. was we there. Didn't we, Michael didn't Rossano. we didn't realize that was Mike. Later on, we realized, oh, Where's, oh Michael Julian? Rossano. Where's the limoncello? Where's the limoncello? Oh, they might have, they have a dev I guarantee they have some limoncello Anyway, so that was a year ago on St. Patrick's Day. At, later on, when we left, we went back to our normal, regular, yes, the book signing. Yes, we were there. Yes, what, we you were there, there Jenny? You were there, Jen? Oh, my God. Mm. Of course, we the video evidence shows we were YouTube. there. We didn't know much. We were there with, and, uh, when Reverend Jenny was No. There. And anyway, so we eventually left. We didn't stay. We didn't know anybody, really. We had just met Carl and James. Anybody. We were making arrangements to get together to go to Hildebrand's. But we went to the launch to meet them. We had the book signed. Met Hudson, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so... We decided now, I don't know to go. If you've heard this, you were but watching Hudson's Sheila. a really nice dog. Oh my god, he's the best, the best dog in the world. <laughs> yeah, Johnny, we were news. right next to each other. I have some video. I might I might have to look at it. Anyway, so Yeah, actually Dolly said to us after that. I Dolly, believe it was I Dolly. Remember. Dolly said to us somewhere, like either in that or in an email, said you're really famous because you were on Johnny and Harry's video. <laughs> <laughs> I said, because we were on someone's video? How are we on I didn't even know who Johnny Zaria was, was at the time. <laughs> you miss Johnny too, Reverend, right? Now we all know each other, thank goodness. So, hey, Nick G, Nick great to G, see you. how you doing? Anyway, so we, um, so we uh, decided to go to the diner. We had not eaten. We went to get St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, and we know? got the corned beef and cabbage. It was so delicious. It was it fabulous. Was so good. We had never gotten it there before. We didn't know. We didn't even know they were going to have any left. It was late, right? It was almost 9 o'clock, actually. I have proof of that because I'm looking for the pictures now. It was, uh, it was March so 17th. delicious. I'm looking for the pictures so I could show you. Actually, it's on our Instagram. It was cooked perfectly. It was delicious. It was ridiculous. Oh, it was so good. It was I the best I ever had. I could not believe I was in a out. diner. I couldn't believe how good and it was. And then, long story short... Look, here it is. Look at the meat. This was last how, year. How tender it looks. Look at the meat, how tender it looks, how it looks so pink and all that. Okay, face that was, was last effect. year. My face? My face was No, it's all right. You can look right there. Look. See? It had delicious carrots and the cabbage was un Everything underneath was perfect. the corned beef. So but we the long decided, story short, I'm working. Let's just go have that again. It was so good, right? We figured we'd go get that again. It wasn't good. It was It horrifying. was not good. It was terrible. It was awful. It was awful. It was cold. Long story the short, it's a diner, cold. and they couldn't it make it the same way twice. No. And they told us good. nobody came, and they didn't sell much there was of it. nobody the in there. The guy told us the place was empty that day, whereas last year it was packed. This time it was empty. 
I had no clue. I don't understand. I guess everybody was still out partying. I don't know. But they didn't have it good. It kept coming out cold. Then they had to reheat it on the grill. It. I can't eat cold food. Then I'm they sorry. reheated it, it on the grill, and the meat was tough and overcooked. Long story short, a second long story short. Sidebar. I wish I had I had made yes, it myself. Because you make it better than that. I make it so good. What do you so think of the beer? Good. The beer, amazing beer. Anybody wants to get a Peroni with their Italian Can I smell food, it? go for it. It's the it's Italian beer. Yeah, but does it taste like regular beer that you're used to? It doesn't regular regular beer. They go live every first. Um, Anthony and Danette, we do. We go live every That's first right. of the month. Thank you, Classy, for reminding us. We always have something in mind. I think we do for this coming first of the month. Yes, everything is Easter related up to Easter. Ah, that's right. Everything is semi, every either semi or, or entirely Easter or spring related. And you don't know this yet, Anthony, but I want to go to Macy's to the uh, flower show. Danette wants to go to the flower show, just so you know. I didn't tell you. But she didn't tell me. She's telling you. I'm telling you now. She's telling me. She's telling me and you. I'm telling She's telling people. everybody. I saw Holla in there. Did we see Holla before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How you doing, Holla? Holla back. Watching you guys Enjoy, in the Ron. background, just getting ready for Oh, we'll be eating together, Ron. Zimmer, with the stuff with the glasses, by the way. Sidebar, I went and I got my new, um, I've got a new pair of glasses. I want to show coming, the ceiling. Winging its way. Yes, can't wait. And for the oh, first Julian time in loves years. Peroni. The first time in years. I want to show you the ceiling. You're going to see me in different frames. Look, I want to show you the ceiling. Hold on. Look. Isn't that beautiful? Look. That's the sky right there, guys. Now you know why I wanted to... Uh, now you know why I wanted to uh, sit in this room. Now you know why I wanted to sit in this room instead of that room. And... He said it was more nice look, it right? was, He said it was noisier. Have a great re, re, uh, you weekend. Too. Thank you very much. We we he said it was you noisier too. here, but he's wrong. It's not noisier here. Everybody's I don't think it's quiet. noisier. We may have no less music. music. Yeah. I don't have to worry about sharing my revenue or whatever it is. My thirteen what have you cents for this video. Wise? Thicker acetate style or not? Similar to this one. Similar. This bit similar. Anthony has uh, stigmatism and certain things he needs. So this is the best yes. frame for I'll be him. honest with you. I don't like the glasses. Noise. Like, I don't like Danette's style Without of eyeglasses. Without the uh, padding. With the thing. I like well, I this just wear time, it for reading. the metallic ones that have the... Yeah, but you can't see, so go ahead. I like you the like metallic the ones, ones that have the nose pads attached to the metal frame. That's what I like. I, that's what feels comfortable for me. When I wear the ones like Danette has on, it just never feels quite right for me. I have sunglasses like those, mm -hmm. and they're, they're really nice sunglasses, really comfortable, but like they never quite do the job the so right way. So good seeing you guys, all of you, We've got Jack, 83 Tracy. people in the house, we got 49 thumbs up. If there's anybody in the house <laughs> that's new to us, <laughs> or that said. hasn't thumbs up yet, please hit that thumbs up. And if someone's new here and you think, we look like we're having fun. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Thank you. Oh, my God. I got to take pictures. Sorry. Danette's going to take, take a picture. Do a picture and do like a little clip, like a few seconds. What's going on with the pizza? I don't I'm going to ask them about, about I, the I pizza. I thought the pizza was coming. So it's like, yeah, that's not the spot for me. You could talk, Anthony. Oh, anyway, so the net's doing her little clip. What was I saying? I was saying something, and I can't remember what it was. What was I talking about? Oh, I like that. The net's giving a little squirt of lemon on there. You know, doesn't it look like over my shoulder over there is like we're sitting in an alleyway? This is so great. This place is so attractive looking. This place is really nice. Oh, I was talking about the glasses. I don't really like the glasses like that. They never feel quite right. Okay, you want me to show? Hold on, let me turn Oh, around. I was talking about thumbs up. Yes. Look, guys, I just put lemon on it. Look at that. What do you think? You want some? You want some? Thank you. 
Thank you, sweetheart. For the lady. You love it? For the lady. Oh, thanks. That's good. Bye, Nick. Thank you for stopping by. Bye, Nick. Doesn't it look good? Do you guys like the... Uh, do you like these kinds of... Uh, mm, clams? Baked clams, oregano. Oh, yeah. You know, you know Joe likes it. Joseph Taylor. I know he does. Yeah, so when he, he gets the new prescription, he'll be able to see better because his uh, reading has changed. Anthony's reading has changed. Looks good, right, Roy? All right. Is the pizza coming yeah. soon? Yeah, great. I don't mean to ask, but I have to, I have to ask. Yum, yum, yum. All right, here we go. I see some pizzas just came out over there at the other table. All right, here we go. Fabulous looking. What happened, mate? This clam is sorry, delicious. Sorry, where are you? I missed that part. What part? I'm, I'm confused. Who, oh, I'm who, sorry. Oh, where are we? We are at... Oh, oh where who, are we? Okay. We yes. are at Zero We're in Arthur Avenue. On Arthur, in Arthur Avenue in the Bronx. And we're at Trattoria Zero. Zero Arthur Oh, my God. Holy Moses, people. Holy freaking Moses. This may have to be our thumbnail. Come, take your hand. There we go. Are you going to smile at God, I don't want the pizza We are in the Bronx. That is correct, oh, yeah. Reverend Jenny. It's baked. We're in the Bronx. It's baked. At Trattoria Zero Otto Novak, uh, which is 089089, which is the area code in Salerno where Chef Roberto, who's oh, no, the petita. owner, comes from. Stuffing is delicious. Mm. That is good. And the bottom of the clam, when you eat it, you can still see clam juice. That's a fresh clam. Hi, e. Smith. Good to see you. Want some pizza, Rat? E. Smith. Yes, I definitely do. I'm having another clam. Oh my God! Look at this pizza, Rat. You ready? Give me a plate. You can put the uh, shells in, in there if you want. Tell us about the sauce flavor, please. You mean the one on the clams? The clam? It's a lemony, it's lemony and, and parsley garlicky. and garlicky, and then we'll do the pizza in a moment. Let me try the cheese. Oh, man, fresh mozzarella. says, I really think that the restaurant's name is translated to We Are Better Than Rayo's. Why? Because we could get in? <laughs> one oh of these days. God. One of these days. Alright, I gotta do this. Fresh. That's the word I have to tell you about the pizza. Fresh? Yes. It has a nice, fresh flavor. The, I would say the sauce. I'm gonna cut the pizza a little smaller. It's the freshness that makes that makes the difference. The fresh mozzarella. <laughs> a little bit yeah, of it's a little, the pizza is a little bit. Okay, here we go. Look at the basil. Look at the fresh basil inside the cheese. Mmm. That is so good. So now oh, I just man. refreshed myself because I took a pic uh, a video. And I'm seeing the commercials. Don't you hate the commercials? <laughs> no, they didn't make the stuff in this the This crust is very yeah. good, nice and chewy. It's got a little... Look at it, here it is up close. A little Look. chew to it. Look at that. Oh, man. See the underside? 
mozzarella. Do you taste the mozzarella? It's very fresh. Yeah, I'm going to cut this too, I think. George thinks that we could use a little balsamic reduction. Actually, that might be good on this. Why? Why balsamic? You mean on top? Yeah. Some people like that. Some people like ranch dressing on pizza. I don't get it. Not on something like this, though. This is... You want to know what the flavor is? It's delicate. Anthony, what kind of sto uh, oven is this again? Uh, what is it called again? I forgot. And it's, a, it's, a, it's a coal oven. Coal fire. A coal... Yeah. All right. Brick oven. Brick oven. That's what I'm looking for. Remember that you can read it on the bottom, too. Mm. You can see the... Um, oh, April. The sauce is like a tomato, like a fresh, red, ripe tomato in the summertime. Like I'm outside, eating this outside in the summertime. Tastes like a fresh Jersey and that aroma fresh basil, tomato. That basil comes right through. Do you taste the basil? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oregano. Mm. Wow, and it's very Absolutely thin. Absolutely delicious. Look how thin it is. You see how thin it is? Very thin, wow, very light, very, very chewy. And the tomato sauce is very, very light flavored. Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? Am I right? No, it tastes like tomato. Tomato sauce, very lightly flavored. Fresh basil comes through. And the fresh mozzarella flavor comes through. I'm sure they've heard they either make their own mozzarella fresh or they get it from one of these amazing stores in the area. Look at and the, look how, how moist it looks. See how it doesn't look dry? Do you see where the basil is? Look how moist. And this is called a margarita. I'm washing that down with this Italian beer. Is this the is right just idea. mozzarella, tomato, dough, and fresh basil. That's what I'm tasting. It's all you taste. <laughs> delicious. Yes, Jenny, fresh basil is delicious. Oh my God, look at it. Look at the sauce. It tastes like tomato, like fresh tomato, but like, it's not a tomato like you're biting into a tomato, the, it's just the flavor. The crust is nice and light. Mm. And you can see that little blackness from the soot, mm. from the coal. Mm. The crust is nice and light. Oh guys, you gotta come here for the, for the pizza, definitely. If you're in town mm. and you're on, in, in the Bronx, Oh no, at the avenue, come to Zero Auto Nove. Just for the pie. Mm. Now they make a lot of, we got the margarita, which is the basic the white pizza. One looks good. But they make a ton of like more out there pizzas, like with like really like high end ingredients, like pizzas with, a, with fresh arugula on it, pizza with butternut squash uh, puree. Pizzas with uh, Cal Calabrian, Calabrian chili. Pizzas with salami. I don't know if you realize this, but there's papers in the olive, in the um, clams. That you taste it. It's fresh and, and briny. And by the way, a little George. piece of crust with your beer is pretty darn good. Oh, waiter was correct about the pairing. This is so good. Man. I'm not going to eat all the crust because I want to eat some pasta. That's just me. But all Anthony, the crust. try the oil, fresh olive oil. Try it on the crust. Mmm, so good. It's so good. Right, like that's different than I have to do with the jacket. I can roll it, it's not different. Mm. Oh. It's I'm their Jenny, own olive looking. oil, by the way. I'm sorry if I missed it. I used to grow fresh basil until my husband friend decided to grow it in other seeds and didn't tell me. Growing marijuana, I started didn't know what to my husband told me. Whoa! Oh my God. <laughs> Now there's a story. <laughs> what happens if you put the marijuana with Absolutely your fresh? Absolutely classy. We would definitely if come you back. Take some this. marijuana leaves and you put that with your fresh mozzarella. Man, here's a caprese salad that gets no, the crowd. Uh, that puts the smile on the tired. face of the crowd. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you, Johnny. 
They played a joke on her. Did it smell like it though, like usual? I wouldn't know. I never had marijuana before except I'm telling somebody you. in the building keeps freaking smoking it. And I hate it. I hate the smell. I'm telling you, Reverend Jenny made the most popular caprese salad in her neighborhood. <laughs> It was like, I don't know what you put in this, Jenny, but you can't <laughs> stop eating it. <laughs> I'm going to test the oil. It's just basil and mozzarella. <laughs> oh, my God. I was so upset because because the cops walked around. Uh, okay, you can have this one. What did he say? Because the cops walked around on their horses. Oh, my God. Is this in New York in Manhattan? New York might be the Bronx. Yes, Classy. Good review so far. Everything is delicious. Good review. So far, so good. I want to come back and try the white pizza. This pizza's delicious. Yes. The white pizza is like a quattro formaggio with like four cheese. It's got like a smoked mozzarella. It's got like fresh mozzarella. It's got like um, provolone. I think it might have fontina. And us Italians, we don't, we're not shy about dipping something in sauce. So I'm dipping... In the uh, lemon sauce of the clams, I'm dipping in my crust. You okay over there, buddy? Yes. Do you want to take this home or you want more? I do want to have take them bag home? it. Okay. The other two slices we're going to bag. It's really half the pie, though. It's, it's, it's like, funny. Sometimes I've seen Oh, and she it. lived in Throg's Neck. 72 people watching, 54 likes. Let's show them some love, folks. Anybody in here who's who hasn't given it a thumbs up, try and get uh, like see if you if you if if you if you like us, give us a thumbs up. If you hate the mm. hell out of us, you can give us a thumbs down too. We don't care. Just engage. <laughs> And anybody that's like talking, we love yes, you. And it if looks you're not delicious, talking, classy. you're part of the family too. Right, Jeanette? Yes. Even if you're not saying anything or you choose oh, to not say anything, because we know there were many people, I've gotten messages from them, emails. There were many people who love to watch, who don't chat, who maybe they feel uncomfortable with the chatting, maybe mm -hmm. they can't do it because of a physical difficulty, the eyes, or, or something else. Or they just have us in the background. Or they just have us on in the background. And we appreciate you too. We love you, and we're happy you're here with us. Happy you're here, have an early dinner, late lunch. April, I loved cold, cold seafood salad. That's my thing. I love the calamari, that is, that's the, next the thing. shrimp. I love cold. Oh, I love that. Anthony's not such a big... I'm not a scungili kind of guy. So I didn't want to order that today. I'm not a scunch guy. Yeah, I eat all that stuff. I love it. But Danette loves a cold seafood salad. I can eat it. I can eat it, but pref I prefer it to be like a... So I wasn't going to eat this, but now I can't help myself because I'm dipping it in the clam sauce, which has all breadcrumb. You want a piece? Yes. Look at it. Look. Oh, look at that breadcrumb. Look at that. Mm. There's nothing like a... Re but that's not focused. There you go. There's nothing like a good crust to pizza. Like, this is a really good crust. Take a look. You see how it almost looks burnt and it's crispy? You see that? That means it came from the oven, the hot 900 degree oven. I'm nuts over the fact that it looks like over my shoulder I'm sitting in a, just like Monica said, I'm sitting in an alleyway in, in Italy. Yeah. It's nice. Actually, that's the reason why I am. That's the reason why I like Manos in Queens, because he makes his, yes. I know he uses a gas oven, but yes. his pizza crust is like this. The gas makes oven pizza right. is another animal, but like the crust the is actually very similar because it's like that, mm -hmm. that raised crust. Mm -hmm. and With the aeration, it has aeration. Yes. aeration in the crust. I love aeration. Good. Yes, yes. can you wrap that for us? Thank you. Can I also have a Diet Coke, please? Yeah, Pepsi, that's fine, thanks. Ching-ching, Dennett. Ching-ching, ding. 
cheers to all of you uh, wonderful, nice people who have been so nice to us today. Giving us, uh, giving us nice the us super the chats. I, you know, like, Hi, Carol. I can't Carol even imagine it. I can't even imagine it. If we it. missed so you, please shocking. don't get upset. If we missed you. It wasn't please intentional. Don't get upset. We are Not talking and doing wrong kinds of things. Jeanette, April, let's see. Did I miss anyone? Never April, intentional. See. Never, ever. There's Roy in the house. We love having Roy here. Oh, open plumbing. I didn't see you. Open plumbing? I'm on a seafood diet. I see food and eat it. Exactly. Open plumbing? That's right. E. Smith. See, I just like that was exactly. look back a little and there he is. <laughs> look back a little and we see open plumbing. Make him with the dad jokes. We like that. Let's see if you can pop out another one. I know on the drop of a hat you can come up with another one. Owen Meyer is Yeah, it does look real, doesn't it? It looks real. It looks like I'm out in the sidewalk. But the guy in the green shirt, I didn't know if that was real because he's not moving. He keeps looking at his phone. He's the real. in the green shirt, I didn't oh, know. Okay. Try nerd wax on glasses with no nose pieces. Oh, I didn't know that, Leela. There's a good hmm. tip. I've never heard of that stuff. You did not. I could try. How was everybody else's St. Patty's then? The most funny, funny part about this dog getting new glasses is going to be this. It's like I said, I'm going to have new frames for the first time in like Holla, I seven open my years, mouth and eat it. I don't even years. have to smell it. Although going in those it's like eight stores years. were amazing. I think for like eight years I got the same frames. They don't Jeanette have these anymore. Them. They don't have these anymore. I would get the same frame, same color, oh, every thank time. thank you, H.C., so much. For like much. eight years. Thank you so much for saying that. Thanks, H.C. Congratulations. Congratulations over oh, 1,000. Thank, so thank you very much. Mm -hmm. On our 1,000K, finally getting monetized. You guys deserve this, and we all appreciate you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, H.C. To you guys. Thank you. For supporting us all this time. You guys, for all your support. For all our snafus and, uh, and the, through our the broke up and our and the talking and, and, the, and By the way, the, um, are our mouths synced? By the way, are we, oh, are we, are we okay? Asked. Is the sink okay so far today? Because I think I might have figured out what it is. If it yes, is. and and last night, Colin James. I made James a change. I made a change. And Colin James were out of sync. And we were watching... Um, Rhonda and Rhonda was out of sync and then I then I realized is it really a YouTube thing? But we have the new phones and you made a change and yeah, the sync is, is great, great right? Today. So I think we fixed everything. I think this is what I did. I I'm gonna tell you what I did. It. I downgraded the video quality a little bit. Look at this I upped, glass. I, I upped the frames per second and downgraded the video quality just a, a smidge. Hi, Beach Bum. Good to see you. And Thank you. I was yeah, we're waiting for a pasta. Because what I heard was was that, like, Thank you, H. it's a matter of the bit rate of the phone. There's technical talk here, but I'm going to make it quick and easy. And uh, Yuri helped us, too. Yuri. He's here, Yuri, Anthony. thank you so much. Welcome I, for coming I in. I didn't notice... Notice you in there, Yuri. Again, I'm going to tell you, thank you so much. He because helped us as well. We he were going to get new, with getting the new we phones. We were going to get new phones anyway. We knew they were old, but that kind of pushed us over the edge. That last live that we were so bad at Johnny's Reef. I mean, if you watch it now, it's fine. But our voices, everything was all off. That's just our because the YouTube down, corrects it. And I was like, that's it. I said that right then and there. And you said it. When I wasn't with you, I watched back. And Anthony said, that's it. We're getting new phones. So then Yuri A sent us a message and helped us out and told us you need to get new phones and told us some stuff. And we very we appreciate that. We appreciate And that was it. We had to Yuri, do it. Yuri, I totally appreciate you reaching out. You had knowledge and you reached Thank out and you, you gave me the Yuri. honest opinion. Because I yeah, always and that's want what we like. Opinion. We like honesty. That's like I told you. Don't ever be afraid. Like, always want the honest uh, the Even honest, Cora. Uh, I spoke to Cora. Raw, reaction I to things. I love Cora. Cora, I don't even think she's in here right now. But I spoke to Cora and she said, your videos were awful. And I was like, I was she like, said, no, I know. To be honest, she did say, not you. Just the quality the of the quality video. The quality of our mouths. Like, it was That's annoying. So, so I can imagine. I was like, thank you for telling it was me. Blurry, I was like, it I was love like feedback. Freezing and stuff Sometimes like I that. tell Joe, you know, Joe, Joseph Taylor, tell us. Tell us if something's not true. Joe is mostly too nice. 
but he'll he'll once in a while he'll pop out with the truth. Yeah, yeah. So I realized I I. I we yeah, they were here earlier. I have to uh, uh, tell her again when I see it. Also, Classy and um, and Michelle Westbrook, thank you so much for those Sometimes beautiful I birthday tell cards. Joe, mm -hmm. I love those birthday cards. I don't it's know Cora. If I said You're it. very welcome. Oh, see, she remembers. <laughs> I love talking to Cora. She's so cool. And she told me, you know, it was awful. Thank and you, I was Cora. like, I know it was. You're right. And that I was it. We went and got new phones. New phone. We were slow. We're I slow when it comes to things that. sometimes. Like the last few videos, we didn't monetize. We could have, but we didn't, right? Yeah, that was I mean, we could still turn it in off. In a, a rush, and I realized it really is a thing you could just turn yeah, it on and Yeah, that's what off. I discovered, Hala, yesterday. But this is our first time. It's not doing that. After Anthony changed, uh, where cleans people. Some like of the settings. He changed some of the, the settings, sink. and I think that might have helped with the sink. Yeah, I'm not sure. And you contacted but Google, and they wanted, the they didn't settings. want to believe you. You had to prove it. But afterwards, it's, it's already in sync, so you can't prove it's it. It's such a goofy thing. This is what Google wanted me to do. You want to know what Google wanted me to do? Live stream, which I would have to make a private live That's stream, right. like an unlisted live stream that you guys can't see. Live stream, and it probably wouldn't broadcast it, it, have one of us watch it on a device, like on the computer, on the desktop. Watch it on the desktop. Wait, look what Roy says. What did he say? I got Be a careful, I got a revenue sharing and, and couldn't, couldn't change, change mine, so I always leave it off now. And so I always so leave it don't you have now. to put the sharing thing, though? Isn't that separate? When we when we send Super Chats because we care about you guys, I know. Thank Reverend, you so much. Thank Reverend you. Jenny, you have no idea how much we appreciate it. You have no idea, every single one of you. We appreciate you just being here and talking mm -hmm. to us. I mean, I, I can't say it any other way. I, I, just spending your time with us here and talking to us and having fun, that's all we really wanted to do when we started this channel, right? Yes. That was it. Exactly. And that's all we wanted revenue to do. Revenue sharing is usually turned on at the beginning, but I couldn't change it after the stream. Oh, I see. Thank you for the tip. Oh, hey. On my videos, it just happened by it just happened automatically. Oh, oh wow! Wait. To put I it got here. Something here. Oh, you got it. Right. Oh wait, yeah, let you me show this it. Out of the way, oh, hold on. And Maybe you can show. show it. You yeah. can show the whole thing. Okay, now. Put it the camera because I don't want to see my face. Oh, I'm not. Uh, can I put it there? No, she's the. I'm not showing you. No. Yeah. I'm just showing the food. If I can get it around, there we go. There we go. Wow! Oh. Look at that. Oh, so hot. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. God, it smells delicious. It smells wow, amazing. look at that, the guys. Pesto. Do you see the cheese? Is that burrata in or mozzarella? Yes, burrata. Burrata is a different kind of mozzarella. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. Anthony, do you smell that? Yes, I do. Now, this is fresh. This Radiatory. is fresh pasta that they made today. Look at that. Wow, right, Yuri? Look at that. Look at the tomato in there. They chopped that in half. He made sure to tell me he didn't want to be on the camera. Did you like well, that? Well, that's all right. I know, I understand. Well, this is nice. All right, let me, let me send it to you. You can keep talking, Aunt, whatever you were saying. Uh, oh, um, Roy asked what kind of phones we got. We got iPhone 14s. Pro. We were thinking of getting Pro. the 13, We were going to get 13 Pro. They don't Pro, make them anymore. But, like, nobody has them. They don't make them. They don't, they don't make them. Look at that, any, guys. And they're wow. adding them. You can get regular 13s, and you can get 13 Max, and, or rather 13 Plus phones. Look at that. But not the, the, the Pro. So we just went with the 14. We just went the, the whole route. Okay, and that's mine. All right, and let me get it back over. I don't know what I did. Oh, it fixes itself. Look it at that. It fixes itself. Ba -ba -da -boom. They like to have the camera here so they know where it is. Hey, you can see the sun changing. It's getting brighter in here, eh? Yeah. Look at us. We're so bright. Come here. How about that? Come here. Pick one of those. She's cute. I think the pizza is the one to go with. Okay. 
That pizza is oh, all right. We gotta test that taste. All right, we this. gotta taste this. I wanna food. see Danette's reaction first. I'm Mine? not even gonna. I'm okay. not even taking a bite first. I'm gonna take I'm not a even bite. Taking a bite yet. All right, let me. These macaroni's are kind of big, actually. I'm What's gonna the take. Ratatouri? We haven't had fresh macaroni. <gasps> Look, yeah, it is grilled, isn't it? It was in the in the foil. It was in the Look foil. Look at this tomato. You see the char? Alright, so I cut it in half to do the tomato, the burrata, and the pasta with this green sauce. The pesto. Mm. Anthony, taste it with the tomato. It is delicious. This is my other the tomato? Oh my god, it's delicious. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Well, that pesto is unusual. Mm. That is good. Hey, look. Is this what he's talking about? I don't know what I just said. I don't know what that is. Let me not touch anything before I ruin it. Then I touch some buttons and I don't know what they All right, do. did I finish? Very good. Very good. Oh, yes. Oh, you. yes. Perfect. Thank you. Very good. Fresh Parmigiano, guys. Oh, yeah. Let me, let me take a little. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, wait. And then you get a little piece. Mm. <laughs> All right, let me do a little short. I want you to hold this. Hold on, I'm going to tell him what to do. Hold on. She's going to tell me what purple, to do. I got the, uh, the gold, which is really like a beige. Gold, beige. Okay, so just really quick. What I want you to do is just hold this right here. Like the foam? Yeah, hold the foam right here. Right like that. Okay? There we go. Don't move. Okay, that's it. That is going to be a short, guys. That's going to be gonna a short. You're going to see a short eventually. Me putting cheese on the pasta. Mm. All right, was there anything else you wanted to finish that thought that you were talking about? I don't know what it was I was talking about anymore. I uh, uh, Roy, you were telling Roy about the Oh, yeah, phone. the, the phones. They had iPhone 13s, iPhone 13 Pluses, but iPhone Heather 13 says you're killing Pros me over here. and Pro Max. Thanks. Hi, Ron. Nobody good to had. see you, Ron Miller. Look, Ron, this is so good. Mm, mm, mm. It's fresh oh, even pasta. Even better with the cheese. Mm. I don't want to eat too much of this because I want to have some... Dessert. Oh my gosh. Tastes delicious. Anthony, the pesto is kind of like, if I'm being honest, it's kind of like, I don't know what the word is. It's not sour. What is that word? Well, it's that fresh, tastes like that earthy. fresh, earthy flavor. It's so fresh. Different from the pizza because it doesn't have, um, that burrata. It doesn't have tomato in it. It has like this fresh oil and earthiness. Mmm. Mm. Look at this. As an Italian, you see, you put the pinky up, and then you go and you take well, you it. you drop it. And you drop it, and you take it right out of the serving plate. It's very, very earthy. A lot of herbs. I taste a lot of herbs. That is outstanding. That is outstanding, isn't it? I'm a little beer to wash that down. Jack says, you two have a very nice way of making us feel comfortable and as though we have been friends for years. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, because I feel the same way. Thank you so much for saying that, Jack. I feel like we've Jack. met before, all of us. I have to go and walk the, the pops and then to the store. I'm not sure how long you will be on. And okay, I'll Reverend Jenny, we'll later. see you later. And Ronnie, thank you so much for coming by, Jen. Want some Jenny, soda? Reverend Jenny, we really appreciate having you here. We love and you. We, and thank you again for the super If uh, we don't see you again chat. before we go off, we'll see you we'll again see you real time. soon next time. That's right. Hi, Christian. Christian's here. Is it Christian Hansen? Hey, Christian Hansen. How you doing? 
welcome to, welcome to town again I'm gonna do another one right out of the serving plate another bite we don't want to eat too much here because like yeah. Bennett said we're planning on some dessert I want to get dessert I'm just gonna eat what I took and that's it he's a handmade look at the man look at the intricity of it he's a handmade how do they do it I have no clue how you make radiatory. <laughs> Obviously, there's a method to make it. But I don't know what that method is. I don't normally like pesto. This is very good, though. This is a very good pesto. Okay, if I open it up, you can see it. Wow, look at that. You can tell this is a nice restaurant because everybody that sits down will look very happy to be here. See the grooves and it's circular. That's, that's what it looks like. There's grooves and it's circular. And if you open it up... Kathy's making stuffed New Zealand mussels today. Oh, delicious. Oh, that sounds like fun, Kathy. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Mm. That sounds good. Too, when really I was growing up, I never liked yeah. mussels. And the mussels is another thing that I I turned into I turned into a muscle a muscle eater late in life. Like in my 40s, I think was the first time I started eating mussels and started going. And I think it started out but without even a muscle, without even eating mussels. Without even eating mussels as a dish. It started out at the soup Nazi. Because he had mussels in his soup. And I was like, oh, there's a mussel in here. He had a and lot, I, of, a he lot, had a of, lot of seafood and he had so mussels good. in the soup. And I ate one and I said, yeah, it's pretty good. I'll try it somewhere else. And then I tried it somewhere else at a local like uh, Italian restaurant. I tried like, you know, like with the, with the, with the white wine sauce or something. And like I just turned into a mussel head. We went to a muscle place. We went once, to a muscle restaurant a small, on our like anniversary a one pot. year. Yeah. I took dinner to Lower like. Manhattan. Here's the thing. She's the Side truth. Bar. She already knows about this. One year I took her out for our anniversary and I took her to a fancy cocktail Choo. lounge that was beautiful. Oh my God, it was so It was fancy. such a nice place and we had drinks and cocktails and it was, it was just wonderful. That unfortunately that place isn't there anymore. They closed. Like after the pandemic, the, the cocktail lounge closed. But it was really nice. And we got like four the name fancy there? cocktails. I can't remember the name. I would have to look it up. But I kind of. It was off the Houston Street. It was across the street from um, the, uh, the theater. The theater yes. in the corner. What's the name of that theater? Um, I think it's IFC um, now. Uh, Angelica Film yes. Center or the IFC? One of the Angelica. Other. No, it was Angelica, not IFC. It was across the street from there on Houston Street. I think that was the one, and we went to like uh, went there. We got fancy things, and then no, we went I don't to, think we've uh, ever been to Peter's Clam Bar. You know, I don't know. I have to look that up. We went to Muscle Beach and didn't fit in. So we went to, uh, and then after I took Danette to a muscle place, and as the sidebar was, Danette was what I I let Danette in, so this is not a shock to her. I had a coupon. <laughs> Oh no, that was we, and went, we got a tea. Oh, I no, got a that's what we had. We did coupons. We from, did groupons. Groupons. I, I had a, a groupon for a muscle based restaurant. And we ate a it was whole, fun. We ate a mess of mussels. It's I not a, that wasn't fancy. It was a nice little place. That was a nice little place. Everybody gets the a little pot and they had nice. different was, kinds was, of mussels, like how it was prepared. The cocktail lounge was fancy. Yeah. No lighting. Like you know there's low lighting? Then there's we almost sitting in the dark. <laughs> We were we like sitting in the dark and it was like a candle. One I of had the, to see the drink with the candle. Do you remember the little... We had pictures of the drinks too. I don't remember. Do you remember the hors d'oeuvres was like... One of the hors d'oeuvres was a hard boiled egg, but it was like the most fam fanciest thing you've ever seen. That's right, we got some hors d'oeuvres. We got little snacks. You had to, drinks. otherwise you'd get drunk. These were otherwise strong get drunk. drinks. These weren't like like namby pamby, like little like freaking like sissy drinks. These were... These were Drinks for like real drinkers, and they tell you which we water. are not. I they actually drink. recommend recommended on the menu drink water with your with your beverage. 
and I saw the guy who was mixing. You knew it was fancy because remember the guy when you saw the guy who was making the drinks? The bartender? Oh, I see some the over there and sauce. It looks so The cool. bartender wasn't a bartender. He was a mixologist. And he was dressed like a doctor. Whenever you go to a restaurant or a bar and the guy's like dressed like a doctor, you know it's fancy. It's a physician. He was like a drink physician. I don't like crawfish, and one of the reasons I think I don't like it. So, uh, where was the cocktail bar? Of course, from um, um, Angelica Film Festival. Angelica Film Festival. Angelica Theater is on the corner of House. I'm gonna figure out what the name of it was. Yeah, we would know. Um, we'll get back to you. Anyway, it wasn't um, Angel Share. We didn't go to Angel's Share. It was some other place. It was so fancy. Was I had to go up with quite a Fancy. I think I still have the, um, you don't remember. It was so long ago. Anyway, uh, Jack says, I tried crawfish a couple of years ago. It was way too much for, for a tiny piece of meat. But I'm, I'm told it's delicious. The problem is, is that I don't like heads on the shrimp. I, I can't do that. Danette isn't going to suck off. the head I'm not of gonna the shrimp, of the, of the crawfish. And throw it over there and like like peel it with your anyway, do you Anyway, really, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work for a little bit of meat. It's supposed to be good though. They all good. I've had them. I, I, I don't want to try it. I can't do it. Look, the lighting changed the guy. I know. The it's, sun it's, changed the There's a cloud over our uh, hills. There's right. a cloud over us. Isn't it nice? It does look me. I'm going to say it again. Aren't you glad it's we like moved seats? seats? This is the perfect spot. I'm going to say it again. It looks like we're in an alleyway. Aren't you glad we moved seats? Mm -hmm. Wasn't that a good idea? I would say, I think what helped with the sync was I downgraded the video, uh, the video speed, which I don't think we had enough. I don't think hardly anybody has enough on YouTube speed, bitrate, upload speed. Can we wrap this up and get the check? Thank you. Appreciate it. I don't think I have enough. It was steam delicious. Thank you very much. It was delicious. Amazing suggestions. Thank you. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. Right? We gotta get going. We gotta get going because it's already two and a half hours. I, I thought the bit rate was too. It's a very rarely is your phone gonna have enough upload speed to have apparently i didn't know this Jack. i read it somewhere that there's like some sort of you need extra overhead latency for your sound which can cause a lag between the sound so you need a lot of space between how fast your phone is and how high the quality is i didn't know i didn't know that so i tried a, a lower quality video <laughs> munchkin with a higher frame rate. I think Munchkin is baked. That's what I think. So we're going like, like we could do action sequences at this frame rate. Oh really? We could do some karate? Not yes. in a restaurant. However, hey, here's I something have a little bit know. less clear. Which here's makes something sense I never saw for before. live streaming. I only post concert videos on my channel mainly, but I don't live stream. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you had. I didn't even know you had a the channel. Concert, the concert, concert thing. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Thank you. It was great. Thanks. Wow, that's very affordable. All right, I wanted to say something. Let me get you a little closer. Yeah, just put American in this place. Danette just said the phrase. Wow, that's very affordable. Did you hear that? Well, it is. I did not think she was going to say that, and yet she did. So I just want to let you guys know. Okay, take care, Sonia. See take you later. Take care, Sonia. All right, so I just want to let you know. Oh, and if James was watching this, I would tell him, yes, you're absolutely right. And now the sun's back out. I would tell you you're absolutely right. But Monty's wasn't that great was that first time I went. The only reason why we went back is because we relatives came into town, and they wanted to try it because they saw us on there. And we did try some other things that were good. So apparently it at was Monty's, better. you have to know what to order. Don't we get asked, the lasagna. Yeah, we asked the waiter what we should order the next time. The and he was very, very serious about 
like telling us what to get. It was also better. We went there with Sheila. Yes, Yuri, you can put drop your link. We will, yeah, drop your link. we will subscribe and watch. Drop your link. We will subscribe. Someone drop Yuri's. Let's tell them what the web page is, whatever, and they'll drop it. I'll definitely. When I rewatch this, I definitely will go away and subscribe. To you. So I want to just say something that I've never seen before, and I want to share it with you guys. You know, sometimes you don't. You're not around other YouTubers, or they don't share everything with you. You could be with a YouTuber that, you know, you're with and they don't tell you everything. Or, I wouldn't say it that way, they don't tell you everything. It doesn't come up, you know what I mean? Or, we, we haven't been around a lot of YouTubers to know. But, right now, I could see, right there, Anthony. Do you see it? What? Right oh, there, what? you don't even see it. What does that say? These wonderful people, in total, sent uh, us $105. in Super Chats. Thank you so, so much. I did not know. Guys. Yeah, nobody told us. I have never seen that. that before. There's a total on Nobody the top told us you get a running total. I, I don't know if any of you knew that. That's right, but class. Like, You're I guess right. the YouTubers in the group know that. So, do you like, like this place that. better than Vermonti's? I don't know. Vermonti's is know. really nice. Vermonti's, like, we didn't have a, a red sauce in the pasta. And they don't have pizza. They don't have pizza. What would you get in Bamonte's again? I would say it's a talk. It's a walk. You got a ragu. The you got a veal ragu when I, I went the, with my, my cousin. My veal ragu with a cousin. That was fabulous. And the first thing I got, I, I, I'm going to be honest. Everybody was disappointed when James and Carla ate with us there. Everyone yeah, we, was disappointed. I wasn't disappointed his. because my meal was fantastic. I got the pork chop parmesan, bone-in pork parmesan, pork chop parmesan. And you loved it. And it was delicious. Yeah, well, that I had the fish, the same as James. Freaking delicious. And it was all right. It was okay. It was I, didn't, right. I didn't think that the stuffed uh, that was about artichoke it. was that as good Finish as it meal. could have been. The stuffed artichoke in... Um, and Queens is better. What was what's that? Uh, Parkside. Parkside in Queens, which is across Parkside the street and Queens. from the Lemon Ice King, has yes. a delicious stuffed artichoke. The Lemon Ice King, amazing. I don't know if anybody is goes back far enough. Probably HC I know goes back far enough, and George goes back far enough. But the Lemon Ice King, it was right outside the Lemon Ice King where we first discussed the Chinese slippers. I want to try this place next time. I love the Alfredo when we went out before. Yeah, the Alfredo looked good, but remember that wasn't on the menu. They made that fresh to order for you. Do you remember, Sheila? Thank you. Yeah, that wasn't on the menu. And actually, when but we went with we Sheila... Just, like, whip it up. When we went with my cousins, you got... Was that when you got the ragu? I got veal ragu. And then when we went out with Sheila and uh, Dwayne, that food was good. I remember that. That food was pretty good, too. No, that was good. I think the it was first just time what we ordered. Good. This was... It was dis it was a disappointment. And we were outside, which was beautiful outside. I loved being and outside. I loved sitting in the outdoor seating over I thought there, the food was like, good when we were I have a shield. feeling that we got like kinda like like left out in the cold out there. Like the guy no wasn't pun like intended. you know, it wasn't I don't really know paying if that's close true. That was our first time there, I don't know. And the lasagna wasn't that good. I know Carla didn't like it. I didn't like well, it. Well it was different, it had <laughs> sausage in it. I didn't like the lasagna. It's not my lasagna. I didn't lasagna. like the way it looked. Paula well, didn't like it. Wasn't a lasagna either. Yeah. James and Danette were not thrilled yeah, with okay. their stuffed fish. It wasn't the best. It was like, it was like I said, it was I. Right. See, for me to say whether or not I like this place better than Bamonte's, I would have to try a sauce, right? You need to try a sauce, like a red sauce and a meatball, maybe. or meatballs, maybe. Now the meatballs here, I didn't get them. I was like torn. Next between time. that, I, the meatballs here come small meatballs. We had a great time. The meatballs at here come on times, on polenta. Yeah, I love polenta with goat cheese oh, that and a spicy good. can't get everything. A spicy That's tomato the sauce. And I was scared I of that because Danette has a thing with spicy things. Yeah, but I have a feeling I would have liked that better than the clams. The clams were delicious. Clams were delicious, them. but were they like, the best? No, not the best. The best way was, the I best? Think, was Frank was Don Pepe. Don Pepe's. In Don Queens. Pepe and Queens, oh, oh, which those, we got to go back to. Those clams. People really like that delicious. video, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Did. Thank you. I tell you though, the pizza here is amazing. But I'll come back for the pizza in a second. 
Anyway, so every little thing that we can remember that we think is best here or best there, tell you what to, what to order. I have to try the meatballs at Rayo's because we've been making them and they're good. Jack looked at you. Did you see that Jack said yes, he had, had to look at you? Yes, we had a great waiter. The waiter with Sheila was a little... No, he that was a little was a good, rough. I think he's a little rough. We had him again when waiter, we went with my cousin. We had him again with my cousin. That waiter is the classic he's waiter. Old he's waiter. old school. He's a little bit rough, but that's like the kind of waiter you usually want in New York. Hey, look at HC. I did your meatballs with adding some water. Never did that used milk before. I like the water better, right? It's a good trick, isn't it? It's amazing it moist. how moist it gets. Those and you things. could do that with turkey meatballs and chicken meatballs, any kind of meatballs. That you add works a little bit so of well. water to that, it. Like, it's a, a game changer. It's crazy it's an how it changer. works. Well, Frank Pellegrino, a senior who discovered that recipe, oldest skating years ago. Don't listen ago. to him, Sheila. I like the way that we have a J and K better too. Go ahead, keep talking. I like I like the rough guy. You like the rough guy, but what no, were you saying? Uh, Pellegrino, say, is like, that the um, real guy? Um, what is it? The um, uh, Jack Rab said how he looked at your face when the thing came. He said, looking at the expression on your face, he knew the price was reasonable. Okay, let me you tell you tell what it is. Yeah, I'll then show that's, you. Then that's reasonability. The beer was seven dollars. Wasn't bad. Seven bucks for a beer in New York. This big is not bad. And it's a, and ported. And then and we had okay. The pizza was fifteen ninety five. The Not clams there. oregano, $15.95, and the fresh pasta, which is so much of it, there's a big leftover, $24.95. I gotta tell you, the diners in Queens have to get this up together here. It is getting so expensive, the diners. I My know. $24.95. We went out for hamburgers the other day and soup, and we paid, I swear to God, I'm not lying, $56. Then we had to give a tip. It was like $70, $72. Was it $72.14, I think it was? I know. It was crazy. And it's a diner. No, it wasn't $56. It was $61.14. And we paid $72.14. We gave a $12 tip. Yeah. That's what it was. And it's ridiculous how much they charge for a burger. As a matter of fact, our burger was the same price as this fresh pasta that they made by hand. I mean, what's going on? That's a little ridiculous. <laughs> I always do the thing where I go like George, this. George, we're going for pastry and coffee now. I think I might yes. get a macchiata, macchiata a macchi or macchi a cappuccino. A matcha mookie. A matcha mookie? I don't know. This is what it, this is. What it, what Where's it is. my receipt? We do this. this no, that's theirs. Okay. This, this is what we do when we go to a restaurant. Usually, when we know it's going to be, the news is going to be bad. Or like we don't, we know it's a place where it's like, what do you we, mean bad? we suspect the bad news. Like it's going to be really high, but we're not sure. But sometimes even when it's not really high, but I'm going to make her, like you do a joke. Usually the guy will come and put the paper on the table. And I'll pick it up and I'll do, I'll do one of these. He makes the good me old. Laugh. My eyes are spinning in my head like that. My tongue is like rattling. Oh, boop! <laughs> the gas is coming out of my ears. Yes. <laughs> no, not Mario's. However, let me tell you something. There are so many restaurants here at Arthur Avenue. This is this one is very good. There's Enzo's. There's Mario's. There's Emilio. Emilia's. There's all up and down. Dominic's. Roberto's, Roberto's, which is owned by Chef Roberto who owns this. So Roberto's is another amazing place. I, 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 might, I might have to tell you, we have to go there next, not here. I think we should try there because they Roberto have a Roberto's is famous, Roberto's the pizza is famous is for his amazing. rabbit. For what? Roberto is famous for his rabbit. Uh, I'm not eating rabbit, in. His rabbit, saddle of rabbit. All right, we'll have to take a look. I'm going to run to the like bathroom. I'm gonna wait here. And then we're gonna uh, move along. Because I, I can't take it. I can't up? put on the list. It is 70. It was 69. What's the tell them? 69. Uh, yeah, it was. I'll be right uh, back. It, 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 it was. Um, uh, it actually came to 69.52. 69.52 before tip. So, um, 69.52. I gave him 14 bucks tip, so like 83 bucks. You know, in a nice restaurant, that isn't bad. 69 bucks, that isn't bad. That's not bad. Because it's a big portion of pasta. Like, like uh, it was a big portion of pasta. 
a, a basically a medium pizza, which was like a delicious pizza, like fancy, fancy, like a like a fancy fresh pizza, and uh, clams oregonata. Not bad. Morris Park. There's Emilio's. Yeah, I know. I know Emilio's, Ian. We know Emilio's. That's on Morris Park area. There's another Emilio's on Tremont Avenue. Like when you're going down Tremont Avenue towards Marina Del Rey. Um, that was the place where the Nets' father used to get. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Where the Nets' father used to get the. Um, what's it called? He used to order from this pizzeria. He used to order. Um, the, um, what's it called, the pasta vazul, or pasta vajol, depending on how you're supposed to say it, as opposed to how New York Italians say it, but New York Italians say pasta vazul. <laughs> anyway, so the pasta vazul, he would get it, and it, had a real, it was really based in tomato sauce, and it was so red. He used to come, and he'd like made it like a constant joke. My father would laugh every time. Uh, I, her father would laugh every time. It can't, it, like, they'd get it, and uh, it would be all red. And I would say, I used to call that your father ordered the cup of, the, uh, the uh, order of blood. It was the blood soup. I never saw soup that red in my life, unless it was borscht. Ooh, I see the, the people across from us got, uh, the eggplant appetizer. Right, I see yeah. the eggplant appetizer and the meatball appetizer right there on their table. Oh, I'd rather have had that than eggplants. See, we should have got the eggplants okay, so we'll or, the, or, the, or the meatball. We'll come, come back. back and we'll do lunch By the here way, or dinner. Their hours are really crazy here. You have to look it up. During the week, they close. They make they have lunch, they close, and they reopen for dinner. On Sunday, they open at 1 o'clock. That's why we wanted to come at 1. They're very busy right now. And we could just come back on another Sunday, yeah? It's crowded. And they don't do reservations. No just reservations, so you, know. so you have to walk It's a, you just walk in, first come, come, first come, first serve, you know, stuff like that. Do you want to go? First do you comes want to go and first serves. Uh, do I have to go to the bathroom? I guess I should. I'm going to get up, stretch my legs, go to the bathroom. When you come back, back we'll put on my coat, and we can leave. I was telling them the story about how you, your father used to... Get, get from Emilio's Pizzeria. The Emilio's not on Morris Park, but the one down Tremont. Yes. And he used to get that pasta vazul that was the reddest soup I ever saw in my life. Yes. And I used to call it Danette's father's cup of blood or he used to get like blood soup. My father loves soup. It's so red. It's like go, a bowl go, of go, spaghetti we gotta sauce. we got to get out of here. Anthony is a pain in the ass. Now it's time for, now it's the dilio about Anthony. I'm unhinged. He's unhinged. Okay, so now we're gonna go get some St. Joseph's and we're going to get some coffee, some Italian coffee. Oh, the macaroni going by looks amazing. And we're going to Delillo Bakery. Look at my dry lips. I love this bakery because they make pizza rustica and their desserts look amazing. Girl Scout cookies. I haven't had Girl Scout cookies in a long, long time. Really classy? You think this is the best feed that you've ever seen on our channel? It's because of the phones and because of this lighting. The lighting in here is amazing. The lighting in here is absolutely amazing. Let me just play with this a little. There we go. So now that's where they're making the pizza, right in that oven, right there. Right there is the oven. And a minute and a half. Absolutely, really? Does everybody agree with that? Is this the clearest? Do you see my blemishes? Wow, that's amazing. I'm glad. We really need a new phone. It's true. Okay, what did you say, uh, Sheila? How long was the drive to Arthur Avenue from your area? So from Queens, I would say 20 minutes, 25 minutes, because we left, remember, there's no traffic. It was morning, we left early. And um, 
It's not that far. 11 minute drive from Throgs Neck, and the Throgs Neck Bridge is maybe, the Whitestone Bridge maybe 15, 10, 15 minutes from us. Oh, thank you, April. No, the bakery we're going to is DeLillo, D-E capital L-I-L-L-O. Marone's Bakery that we passed is supposed to be very good too. And there's nothing here that isn't good. It's, the neighborhood is not as um, big as it used to be when I was a child, meaning that, um, excuse me, meaning that uh, some of the place is closed, but St. Joseph's is smiling down on you. Um, but the ones that have been here for a hundred years, like the Madonna Brothers Bakery, where we got the um, biscotti, they've been here over a hundred years. There's, been, there's businesses here, mom and pop businesses here since 75 years, 80 years. And um, the neighborhood is still Italian. There's a lot of Albanian restaurants that are supposed to be good. There's a place called Tony and Tina's. I didn't even tell Anthony this, but there's a place called Tony and Tina's and they make a barrette. It's kind of like a flaky dough. I want to go there so bad. I want to try that. That's something else I want to try. There's a place called Tony and Tina's. It's like an Albanian restaurant and they make B-U-R-E-K. It's like a round flaky dough with filling, like spinach filling. Sounds delicious. Barrette? Barrette, yeah. Oh, hi, Raven. Welcome back. I've always known about it. I don't know. There you go. It's a little pastry shop. There you go. We're going there right now. It's across the street. And I did. And I wanted to tell you that um, when I was a child, here's another uh, sidebar. When I was a child, I used to come to Arthur Avenue. I was like six, seven years old. And I would go to these um, relatives' house. I had relatives on my father's side of the family that live on Arthur Avenue. And we used to come here and visit them. And I used to think they were so old. They're like probably younger than I am now. But as a kid, I had no children, and the house was kind of empty, it was a house. And we used to go there and eat big meals on a huge table. We'd all sit around the table and they would make um, crab, linguine with crab sauce, and it would take hours. She would get, my, my aunt would get hundreds of crabs on this huge pot, like a pot you would never see before. And would go down into this little bit of my meat. My mother would say crab, and what then crab? She would, and then she would mix that into the fresh sauce that she made on Sunday. She would take the meat and put it in the sauce in that big pot. And then we would have linguine with crab sauce. And the crabs, you could eat the crabs. So we would spend hours. My mother loved it. It was on my father's side of the family, but my mother would eat every little piece of crab. It was like blue crab from like Maryland. Not the long ones, the blue crab from Maryland. And I remember as a kid, when are we leaving? When are we leaving? We'd be there for hours and hours. That's one leaving? of the memories of several memories in that house and other relatives. But anyway, let me get my coat and we'll be done in a sec. So I hope you guys enjoyed this trip to this restaurant. Now we're gonna go out. What did George, say? George said earlier? Uh, coffee and dessert? Yes. Now we're going for coffee and dessert. Because you know it's St. Joseph's Day. So and we got to investigate Saint a little St. Joseph's. Saint Joseph's. If, and, uh, and I this, wonder if St. Joseph is still watching. <laughs> yeah, let me just do that. Also, St. Joseph's. St. Joe is still watching. Saint, yeah, come down for a minute. Smile. St. Joseph's <laughs> uh, comes in two different kinds. It's the same pastry. But it's either um, cream pastry, what is it, ricotta? Ricotta, like um, sweetened ricotta, which is like a cannoli filling, almost, or custard, or like custard. vanilla custard. And we're custard. gonna go show you now. All right. And they call, there's zebeli, izebeli, or svinge. Svinge. A svinge is also a Moroccan pastry of the same style, looks exactly the same. Take that. All right, I'm gonna turn it around. We're going through the grotto again, guys. Oh, an entire canine comes from, I was raised on the outside. I was raised on the shore of Maryland. Thank you very much. Yeah, just go straight out.
Ciao, grazie. Thank you. Ciao, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ciao. We're on our way. Let me get the door for you. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ah. Did you love it? They say, ciao, ciao. Anthony, they have the Italian accents. They're from Italy. Those young guys, how do they have that accent? Because they're from Italy. But they're so young. Well, why, they can't be young in Italy? Well, what, they just came here? I don't know. Yeah, they're uh, What's up, from the other side. Ah. Uh. I just want to read. Oh, it's not as cold right now. Robert, it's okay. Wow, I'm just reading what you guys are saying. So cool. Teetle Brothers. I only wish Teetle Brothers was open. Yeah, Teetle Brothers is where we always go. And, um, Robert Kaczynski. Hello, welcome. Welcome and back. They have, usually the Teetle Brothers has the baccala outside. Yes. You don't have to switch it. We could go. You ready? You want to All right, we're going to go. Let's go across the street. So what they do is, uh, I always call it Tito Brothers, but I think it's called Title. I've been saying it wrong all these years. It's very but possible we've been saying it wrong all these years. Uh, if you like him, you would love to listen to my husband talk, April says. Does, uh, does Hubby have a... Oh my God, is he from Italy? Have an Italian oh, accent? Does he, does he have an accent? Oh, I love it. Does he say ciao? Does he ciao. ever say ciao? <laughs> You would probably throw me off your channel if you met me as I do not eat Italian food. It doesn't Listen, matter what you eat. We don't care. It's okay what you it's okay your uh, your diet is your own business. That's okay. right. And not only that, we don't just eat Italian food. Oh, we eat plenty of non-Italian food exactly. also. We're not from Italy. Not even, not even our parents. We're Italian, Italian Americans. Our parents are not from Italy. Our, but yeah, our, our parents were are. None of our parents were born in Italy, but their parents were. Except for my, uh, well, uh, technically, my uh, mother's father would have told you very indignantly that he was not born in Italy, that he was born in Brazil. <laughs> I have family in Brazil and Argentina, you know? So... That's an interesting sidebar. Here's a story that you can see why. And if you look inside, Anthony, you'll see all the Italian. Those things are so amazing. This is where you get them. Just look up top. See the, the bowls? You see the bowls back go there? In? Look. Oh, if you want to. Yeah, just open the door. Go. Yeah. So you can find like these saints here and like look at the dishes. This is what I'm talking about. Look, come here. Like you can't find this everywhere. Look at this. These are the Italian dishes. Look. Oh, they're talking Italian in here. I love it. Look at the size of this ant. Oh, look at this. It's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah, so look at all the bowls and dishes. Hi. Hi. The saints. How long have you been here? In this, in, in, uh, how long has the store been here? Oh, the store has been over 70 years. 70, 70 years. years. Wow. That's a that's 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 a while. Oh, yeah. It's a generation. Yes, yes. So you've seen it all. I, I love the bowls. Look at the bowls. My wife, she loves she. My wife loves the bowls. <laughs> oh, these are cute. I like these. Look at the my mother used to have the tiny little. Remember my mother, my mother's tiny little espresso cups, like those. She had tiny little cups yeah. like those. And Look like at these. Ones. Ciao, amore. Beautiful. Beautiful. Do you hear them? Do you hear them talking? Aunt, do you remember this as a kid? Oh my God, this brings back memories. Aunt. Oh my God, it brings back memories. Oh my God, it's so heavy. It's a Cigarette. Oh the cigarette. The ashtray. The ashtray. Yeah, look at these.
Anti pasta in here. You put the pasta. Oh, you put it on the table. My grandmother had an altar in her bedroom. Uh, HC said. Hey, look, it's a little look. It's a little with statues can't and photos refresh. of those who had passed. Thanks. Raven, you eat pasta every day. That's so interesting. Anthony and I were born on the same planet. Hi, Vivian. Hello. Good to see you. I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, and then T Tito Brothers. I was saying that every day they oh, take look at all the size of these stuff. pots. Tito Brothers, they take all this. This was it. And she had two of them one on one side of the stove, one on the other. And filled with crabs, and These were the pots crabs. they were filled with the crabs, the Danette says. Actually, crabs. she probably did. She probably you said they did. lived in this neighborhood? They yeah, probably they came here the to buy their pot. They lived on the other block. On Avenue. They probably came here to buy their pot. They came here and bought this pot. <laughs> uh, it's the, because of the, where we are. Coffee? Look at the big thing of coffee. Oh, and that's unroasted. The coffee. Did you, Danette and Anthony, did you see what I said? Uh, Alicia, Alicia asked. Yeah. Endless love, it's all cassette tapes. Uh, thank you, honey. Oh, you should be. Okay, let me see what Alicia said. Did you see what I said, Anthony? It was wonderful, it was know. hard but worth it. It was also we can learn town the website for the link. Oh, I didn't know that, Alicia. What did Alicia she say? She said you can learn Italian. Oh, right, look at this. Tito or title. Oh, okay. So what do you want? Cafe Trombetto. Trombetto. So you can learn Italian, that's what she said. Oh, my fools. Oh, yeah. I can listen to them talk all day long and I have no idea what they're saying. Then it has no idea what they're saying. All I know is do not. That's it. Oh, come on. Well, that one you know. I know is do not. Yeah, they've been there 70 years. And probably that relative, that aunt of yours probably bought a pot there for her crabs. They lived on that block over there. They lived in this block coming up. Then it says they lived in the block right there on that corner. Not on that corner, but in the block in a house. Shungad, who said that one? Who was that Shungad? Because we talked about that before. It's Shungad. Oh, that's another cafe, Luna. That's been there for a while too. Oh, yes. Um, what is it saying? The full moon still hasn't popped open yet. Oh, no, it looks like it's open. Oh, yeah, across the street. Across the street, you got... Uh, right over there, Dan and Tony. San Angelo used to go there all the time. See, across the street. Across the street, you got... Ann and Tony's. And Angela used to go there with Uncle Sal and their friends. They used to go eat there all the time. They used like to if go. They went out on the weekends. They would go there. Five generations. Yeah, they've been going there for years. So what I was saying about Tyler Brothers is they spend like hours putting everything out on the street, and then they bring everything back in when they close up for the night. Alicia said I put something in the chat that I think will interest you. What's that, Alicia? I Italian in college. I learned how to write, read, and talk Italian. In addition, I like Whoops. to listen to Annalisa, the young female pop Italian singer. Well, that's very interesting, Alicia. That is. Thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, okay, so now oops. this is, we made a right, and this is now 187th Street. So we're going to the bakery now, which is right there. And if you look forward, Anthony, to the left, there's Mount Carmel. That's the Mount oh, Carmel yes. of the Bronx. That's when we get closer, you can show them. Yeah, it is the Mount Carmel of the Bronx. Uh, <laughs> Not to be confused really with the one so on a on in Harlem where I where I lived Hi, as a Thank child. You. Owen, goodbye. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate, we appreciate having you in in with us. Okay, so there's the church. Yeah. The church in Mount Carmel. 
Yes, we're coming up to it. Yes. And you see on the top, Anthony, you can see on the right-hand side, you can see the bell. You see over here, come to the right so you can get a better view. You see that there's two bells. You see the one on the right? You can see it. If you scroll all the way in on the right, there you go. You see the bell? Is yeah, the bell. that's it, right here. <laughs> yeah, your finger's not showing because, Wait, of the, because it's right, zoomed crazy. Oh, okay, I see. Don't worry well, it's about it. It's on the right-hand side. You guys could see it. Pretty amazing. Yeah, so that's, that's the that's the church in Mount Carmel. We saw people out of the church earlier when we came here. Yes. Okay, and now we're gonna go into. Now we're gonna go in. Now you gotta get the got zoom 50, back, right? Got, where it was. Yeah, no, I put it back. All right, you got. 50, hey, you still look. got. To, you still got. Uh, what were you gonna say? You still have plenty of. Uh, we still have some people watching. No, 50, I mean the people. energy. Do you still, still have? Got a, can what, you see power? the powers? Yeah. These these. Let me tell you something, guys. These phones are amazing. I was looking at my phone the other day for a long time and it didn't even go down. The battery. That was one of the things that was wrong with our old phones is that a battery was Yeah, the batteries got old. Dead. So the you batteries can't tell did get old. On a live? Uh, I would have to close it to get uh, for a Dad, second. Look for a sec. Let's look really When we quick. get inside, I'm going to like uh, right, attach the charger. No, so it's not even down to 20% yet. Maybe we Can you guys see? Let me show you where we are. Look at that. Show them everything. And what else do you want? Where, I don't know. I'm looking. Yeah, um, do you want anything else, Anthony? Do you want a coffee or something? Oh, yeah. Uh, what's a macchiato? Macchiato? Yeah, what is that? It's an espresso with a little bit of milk in it. I'll have one of those decaf. What do you want to drink? Um, you know what? I'll have the same thing. Two of those. Okay. Could you have macchiato? Yes. Uh, do you want anything else, Ron? Oh, that's good for now. That's good. Thank you. Look at these Easter eggs. Aren't those pretty? They don't have the pizza rustica too soon. No pizza rustica too Look at soon. this. Oh my God. Yes. Is this to stay? Oh, it's to stay. We'll sit down. All right. Stay. Thank you. Why don't you sit down, Anthony? Okay, get the, get the one with the two. We can sit next to each other. If you want. Look at this, guys. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think of that? That's a strawberry. These are strawberries. These are, um, what are those things called? Again, I don't know what anything's called. Um, oh, I forgot what it's called. These are little bite size. These are like minis. Look at the little mini cannolis. Oh my God. Here's a nat, uh, oh, look at the little tiny, uh, those are the, um, you know, I, why am I even doing this? I don't know what anything's called. Rum babka. Here's the black, uh, the uh, rainbow cookies. Here's one with different colors. They have chocolate. Here's their biscotti. Oh, look at these. Do you guys like the lemon drop cookies? Those are so good. And then over here, we got over here again is this, uh, the tortellia. Ta da. Okay. All right. And here's the St. Joseph's. Look, this is what we got. See? There's some more stuff over here. We've got some tarts. Some Sunjili. There's a black and white cookie. Oh my god, Joseph. Almond horns. <gasps> Almond horns, Joseph. And those look delicious. Oh my god. That looks like a cheese puff right there. But look at the almond horns. Alright, let me get back to Anthony. 
Is that a bathroom or something? I don't want to. I don't want to be able to. That's the bathroom. Oh, okay, so we could sit here, but isn't it kind of tight? You want to uh, sit on that side? Yeah, it's side. easier. Oh, but here's the thing, Aunt. They don't have the oh, pizza rustica. Oh, I know. Well, let me just move my stuff. Around. Yep, you can put it down. That's fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my God. Yeah, take this. No, 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 take this for a second. Yeah, you can show it, but take this for a second. Yeah, give me that one. And then we, uh, Anthony, there's so many good things, Anthony. They're, like, everything looks delicious. Anthony, they have an almond horn. They do? Yes. They have an almond horn? Where's Joe Taylor when you need him? Okay, come over here. Where's Joe Taylor when you need him? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. All right, here we go. Are you live streaming this? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I was wondering why you were holding a tripod. That's yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. we didn't no, say anything. No, no, it's okay. No, we're can live streaming on the YouTube channel. So would you prefer not to be on camera? I um, could not. Yeah, I would prefer not to be on That's camera. Okay. But, but you could talk. We could yeah. hear you. So the show original show owners of the show this. opened it in 1923. 13 years ago. Um, like that was the smallest store closed um, like 12 years ago, 12, 13 years ago. Yeah. Um, but it's the same owners? Same owners there. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you very much. Um, do you have any other questions? Um, oh, I was asking when they were making the pizza rustica, but oh, yeah, when is that? Close to the Easter. They make it during the holidays, right? Christmas, Christmas, Easter. Easter. Yeah, usually Thanksgiving too. And Thanksgiving. And do you have Italian cheesecake? No, that's no, also holiday. Right. Closer right. to the holiday. Too soon. All right, thank you very much. Okay, down here. Alright, we'll turn, turn it around. around. Hi guys. <laughs> she didn't want to be on film. It's amazing how many people don't want to be on film. Did you show them the, yes. the desserts? Look I at sure this. did. Anyway, um just give me a second, Anne. I'm sorry. Alright, there we go. Yeah, maybe you're right, maybe we should have sat there because then nobody would be in it. It's okay. You know what? I'll put it this way. I'll put it this way. Now nobody I don't want to offend anyone or upset anyone any of that that's a difference Who okay is? so now don't what did i almost tell uh, okay what did i almost time out now joseph taylor of course don't time out joe <laughs> all right so oh my god i need to set myself up here an even closer look at this yes now look what they have on the tables look at this isn't this adorable look how cute this is look how it fits in the plate you see how it fits in the they plate? They might have bought this down at the block <laughs> at that other guy. I didn't know it was going to be so tiny. Oh, let me take these off so I don't fall. And this is the Look other version. One. That's the other version. This is the cream, right? And that's, that's the ragotha. The this is the custard. Yeah. This one's the sweetened ricotta cream. Yeah, look at this. Look at it. Look at And this place, they make it kind of like... Look at the... The, the sugar hanging off. So you can see the difference in the color. This is more yellow and this is more white. Right, Anthony? Yes. And then on the tables they have cocoa and cinnamon. <laughs> Don't you love that? Cocoa and cinnamon. It just says, yeah, what's with people in the camera? I don't know. I don't Why know. Why does it matter? Who's going to know? <laughs> I don't know. You'd be surprised uh, how many... People. Sheila said, I just said to my hubby, why does it matter? Who's going to know her anyway? Mm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Here it is if you want to read it on the bottom, okay, Anthony? It's okay. We we respect their wishes. But they don't if people don't want to be on camera, that's okay that's with right. us. You'll be no, surprised how much they're already on camera and don't even know no. it. No. Now, on the other hand, occasionally, then by the same token, 50-50, then you'll, 50% 50 of the time, you run into other people who are like, you got the camera running? You're on, are you yeah, running? Running. Yeah, exactly. Who can I give a shout out to? Exactly. And it's just like, uh, it's, it's a totally different All right, let's way of a, looking at let's things. Do this, let's do the coffee first. Okay, so this is, what do we order? What is it called? Macchiato. Macchiato. All right, Anthony. Ding, cheers. cheers. All right, let's see what it tastes like. 
Ooh, that is smooth. That's strong Italian. Mmm. Steamed, steamed, what is it? Espresso and steamed water. Very strong. You take one sip half of it's gone. It's so small. Right, now, I mean, look how tiny this is. You see it? Look, it's tiny. How are we attacking All right, what the, did I miss? I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to miss anybody, but... All right, so... You're going to try that one? I'm going to try this one. Usually I like the cream one better. Now, in the Bronx, I don't know if Ian's still here, but Ian... Not Bronx, I mean, in Pelham Bay area, there's a place called Piri's and Son. They make the most delicious... Just St. Joseph. So I'm going to compare that, this one, to theirs. In my opinion, well, keep in mind, the Piri makes them all year round. They make them all year reason. round. They're fresh. Their other stuff isn't Always. so fresh. They make two things that are great there. They make the S rolls, which is seeded rolls that look like an S. So delicious. And they make St. Joseph's all year round. Ching. All right, let's try. Oh, this is good. I'm so disappointed I can't get the pizza rustic. That means I gotta come back. I gotta come back before Easter. Mmm, that's good. It's good, but I think that uh, the other place is better. That looks better than the other place. I think this has more flavor. Let's get these little thing. pieces of uh, the candied orange. We don't speak Italian. We don't know Italian at all. We're American. My parents didn't speak Italian. His mother didn't speak Italian. My grandparents, one grandparent was alive, the other three were not alive when I was born. And he didn't speak Italian, so... And your grandfather didn't really speak Italian, right? My grandfather spoke Italian. But not to you. My no. And my mother... Here's what my mother always said. Earl? No, she said Earl. My mother said she understood Italian, but What's couldn't that? really talk, speak it. Oh, that's unusual. Few. Oh, what is that? It's got like a like a like a jelly filling. It's got a cherry. No, that's a cherry. This is like not baked. This is a baked cherry inside. Look at that! I've never seen that before. In the center, look. You see it? Yes. I never saw that before. All right, I'm dying to try this one. You mind try yeah, I'll just try one? yours. Oh, even though it's the same dough, I think that the uh, they make the uh, I mean they make it in a different shape. All right, let me now. This one has chocolate chips in it. See, and ricotta that's made. Normally, I like this one better because this is so Italian and so like rich. When I was growing up, I hated Italian pastries. I only liked like cookies, like the rainbow cookies. That's it. I didn't like Italian pastries. Now I appreciate it better. Oh, wow, man. That is really good. This one's better. I think this one's better. So you think the oh, cannoli filling, the ricotta better. filling is different? De it's, it's better. It's definitely better, but it's very rich. Mm. I think the ricotta... Yeah, it's very good. I'm going to make a bold statement. Superior Sons is better. I'm sorry. Superior Sons on Bure Avenue in Bay. Bure Avenue. And, um, I'm so verklempt right now. I can't remember where it is. Where is that? Pelham Bay. Pelham Bay. In Pelham Bay section of the Bronx. Go to Zapirian Sons. But you can't get that much else there. Everything else is horrible. Welcome back, Chop Sculpey. Here you go. They also have really good lemon cookies there. But this is where you come for the Italian cheesecake and the pizza rustica at all the holidays. She just confirmed. Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter. I thought they were going to have it. We came before Christmas and they had it. I wish you so could have told us. Let we me must show have you been the real close to Christmas. Hold on. Oh, we went on Christmas Eve, too. They had them in bats. Like oh, that's really a close little... to Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? I thought by now they would have it. I you go by that logic. Maybe. 
If we go by that logic, we may have to oh, wait no. till the day before Easter. Are you joking, Hala? Sorry to tell you, but your lips are way off. Oh, you know what? We need the thing. Hold on. Just remember. Refresh it. Give me a second. I'm glad you told us, otherwise we wouldn't know. We refreshed. Is it better now? Here, Aunt. We'll wait and see if they think it's any better. Yeah, the power might be dying off too, by the way. It is. That's what it is. The power's dying off. Alright, let's see. George, I was thinking that. What were you thinking? Godzilla flick. When you hear Godzilla, you know. All right, tell us, is it still Kung Fu? Come on, we did good in the restaurant. You fixed it in. Are we still Kung Fu? Boy, master of the Sink is still off, Jack Oh, Rabbit hold says. on a minute, hold on. Does it matter where we are? Is that it? Try getting prison. I thought of that too, Roy. The prison Ron, people still have The it. prison people are all off sync too. Uh, James right. and Carl were out of sync it. last night. And so was Rhonda. Rhonda's never out of sync. And she uses prison. And she was out of sync last night. I was night. really out of sync she, one night. Uh, the other night. Maybe we should end it now, Aunt. Yeah. Well, I, I gotta... It must be where you are, exactly. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Bim, 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 bim. It was a little bit exciting. Am I making you laugh, Aunt? <laughs> No! Why? Classy never Classy wants, us to, want us to go. doesn't want to go. I would have to do, to, to make to make Classy happy. We'd have to do like, like one of those. I don't like these. It makes Anthony's tongue turn red. To make Classy happy, we'd have to Two do one sips, of those I'm 20, done. one of those twenty-four hour live streams where we turn on the camera when we go to bed. Done. It's just us like snoring. And in my case, you should hear the freaking CPAP Why machine. Why suggests a uh, ventriloquist? Wisdom. Good, Anthony, say something. Hello, my name is Anthony. <laughs> when I was in New York City, my husband would say he would go for me to get pastries. At first, I thought he was just being nice. Then I realized he didn't want me to buy half the case of goodies. He just wanted to... He wanted to keep you at bay. A YouTube issue? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's Last so many night, people. Carl I keep and seeing James. it on live See, Carla was in the car talking, so we didn't notice it until she stopped. When she stopped at um, at South of the Border, and she turned it around, I was like, oh my God. Like, well, I never saw it happen to them before. And that's the Then prison. we watched uh, Walk with Rhonda, who we enjoy, and she had the same issue. Yes, we're still here. Look, look, Jenny. We're still here. We have St. Joseph's. We went here. for the spinge. Look, St. Joseph's cakes. We went for Isapoli and spinge. But Jenny, it's better at Bure Avenue in Pelham likes, Bay in the thinks, Bronx. Bure Avenue it's is better. It's called Superior Sons. You get their St. Joseph's. They make it year round. And you get their S rolls. Their rolls, they have an S shape and they have all seeds on them. Remember I'm going to buy from the, the S rolls one day. I bet she knows. It's she knows good. It's good. But sauce. if we're going to be, if we're going to be like Remember Jenny, you're from the neighborhood. I bet you, you she knows Zapirian songs. Yeah, they've been there forever too. Wait, what do you think of this one? I feel like this was made yesterday. It's kind of old. It seems a little old. This, however, but is nice and fresh. Like the other one, but I think the... Um, this playing one's the March not. Man, March Madness co College Women's. Not all. They're playing the college women's basketball. All right, let's see. Oh, hi, Fran and Jack. Welcome in. Great to see you. Fran and Jack. Oh, my God. Chopsco, the S-Rolls, they are delicious. You know what we're going to do? You guys, we're going to go out with, with uh, Chopsco soon. And we're going to figure out a place to go. And I will bring you the S-Rolls, Choppy. I will bring them to you so you can experience it yourself. That's right.
Yeah, when I was a kid, I, I didn't have the taste for this stuff. I just still don't love it that much. I like cookies. Actually, Dana, Dana, you were trying to fi you were figuring out like um. Like you really like that. You're eating it. was some place we were. Mm -hmm. We were some place where where you said, "No, this is where we should go with Monica." And I said, "I thought we were supposed to go to places in Staten Island with her." Yes, St. Joseph's. Then I said, "Oh, we should go go to places in Staten Island yes, and this place." Exactly. <laughs> Staten Island has a good. Uh, uh, Staten Island has an Italian community as well, a big Italian community like in this area. Oh, that's what it was. Oh, you said we we should take. Uh, I say, Monica Jockey? should come to. Yeah, Monica, Monica should make the trip to. All right, take care, Johnny. Great, happy Johnny's holidays area. to you. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it always. Talk to you later, Johnny. Danette was saying the other day, we gotta take Monica. We should take Monica to wait. Johnny's Reef. Oh yeah, no, because she wrote that this morning. We read what you said. We should take you to Johnny's Reef. Actually, you can come in the car. We'll take you everywhere. Come in the car, we'll meet you somewhere, like and then we'll drive around. you back to Staten Island. If you, you want to do that, we'll talk. No. You sure? If you want to go, no. No, I don't want it. No. I really want to Oh my God, they're still on their way home. Jeez. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. St. Joseph started in Italy. San Giuseppe. It was its Father's Day in Italy. Yeah, it was and um, in Sicily. We all know Saint Joseph is the most famous stepfather in the Bible. That's right. And so it's San Giuseppe Day in Italy, and we also have. Oh, hi, Patricia. Anthony, what is that called when you go like this? Truffle. That's what I was showing you before. Next to those um, chocolate-covered uh, strawberries was truffle. Now I remember. I'm always a little bit behind. My family celebrated St. Joseph's Day in Joseph, Oregon. There was an Indian chief called St. Joseph's. Oh my God, that's so interesting. An Indian chief, oh, Chief Joseph. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, me too, Sheila. I love to watch uh, James and Carla uh, driving from Florida to New York, to New York, to Florida. They have two more hours, Joseph says. It's I love it because they do a lot of like talking and it's more hands-on talking with the people, you know? Not that I don't love everything else they do. I love their channel. I love them. I love Hudson. But it's we fun love to them. Have, like, the conversation but it's different sometimes. because it's they're they're talking more with the people instead of showing everything. You know, it's not easy. It's we could tell you ourselves. It is so difficult. Like when we were walking around that first hour, I could barely see what you guys were saying, trying to show the sausage, trying to show the stores, trying to figure out what I want to say. It's not easy to do, and I don't have much practice on it. So. Oh, I he how he howls when they hit the Holland Tunnel. I didn't even know that. You didn't know that, Holla? Oh, all right, there you go. Just a little history. <laughs> he was called Chief Joseph. He celebrated four days straight. You know what else is amazing, Jenny? What's amazing about you is I feel like you've been everywhere. Every time like you say something, everywhere. oh, I live there, oh, I live there, oh, I and live there. And when you talk about the places like around so the Bronx that you went to, and Danette's, Danette's I'm like, like, holy mackerel. Like, most of the time, that is like, like, was she like standing next to us in so many places? I you know, it's amazing. <laughs> because some of the timelines are like so like lined up. I'm like, you went there in that year? We used to go there like every day. We're Did HC leave? I don't see her anymore. She might have said she left. I didn't see her. I, don't know. I tried very hard to enjoy my life, Jenny says. Mom, I'm sure you have. It sounds like, uh, well. It sounds amazing. And now you're in Maine. We've all sort of the same. This is part of it, doing this, this stuff. That's doing right. these shenanigans, this nonsense. Which is fun. Every time it's like uh, stage fright. Every time we're about to go live, oh, the it. both of us get like like this. Because like, we don't go live every day. I want to just not do it. No, it's we're not like, that we I don't want to do I'm it. Like, it's like, what if the phone I'm falls my apart? Hair out. What if what if this doesn't work? What if that doesn't work? And like, and I always say I don't want to be long anymore. And look at now, we've been on over three hours. Let me tell you one thing. It, but it's the, because we have to go to the restaurant. The, the stuff with the voice out of sync. I could even, I realize that's yeah, it's probably, like fright, right? I realize that's probably like a YouTube deal, and I can deal with that. Obviously, we didn't have the problem earlier. 
but the the other stuff with the phone, Look at these with cherries. the with the with the, the thing turning itself off or the video cutting out and having to do part one, part two, part three, and like that, uh, like that, the hysterics that we oh, would go this through. Was terrible. I can't deal with that no more. I couldn't oh, deal God. with it. We needed the freaking new phones because I can't deal with that. Yeah, it's it was bad. It was, it was really over bad. the top. And then it was like people were. It was bad for people to watch. You can't see, so you can't see. It keeps can't, going and off. And you can't hear what they're saying. Every so. time the thing goes off, you lose like fifty oh, thanks, subscribers. Oh, thanks, Roy. It was like we love to viewers. see you in here, Roy. Thank Roy, you. Roy, thank you, thank you. We do, we do. Roy is the best. Roy explores. Like Everybody watch Roy explores. Oh, I hate Monday mornings. Oh my God, Holla. It's weird that you should say that. <laughs> like, that right like now, Monday I work morning. Saturday. So when I work on Saturday, a lot of times I get during the week off one day during the week. So it's different now. But even as as even as young as when I was a little kid, I used to get sick on Sunday nights. She I didn't like when she was a kid. She told up. me. I would get sick, I would get nervous, and still to this day, I get nervous going to work on Monday. It's like a weird thing I have. And my parents used to treat the weekend like kids weekend, like Sunday was kids day. Sunday would take us to Jones Beach every day, every Sunday in the summertime. We would go here and there, they would take us all over. And so when I had to go back to school on Monday, I would get so nervous. And same thing with work, I'd be like, oh, it's like same here, didn't it? Isn't Sheila that weird? Says. But then when you get to like Wednesday or Thursday, work is a breeze. Oh, it's like what you did the day before. It's no big deal, but you get those like nervous glitches, you know. I used to hate Thank coming you, back from vacations. Why? I, I love coming back from vacation. <laughs> oh, you mean when it's over? <laughs> That's why I don't like to go to work the day after you come back. I always have a, a little buffer zone. I like coming back because I miss home. I miss the munchkin. We can't take the cat with us, so I miss her. I miss her the minute we We're leave. We're gonna figure things out. The minute we leave, I miss the cat. That's oh, the only since thing. We, since we have Monica, Monica says she can't wait, by the way, for all Good, these Good, then we have trips. to make a plan. Now, since Monica's in here, I can't wait here, either. I wanna give Monica a special treat. <laughs> now, let's see. Good. Everybody must know the inside joke. Monica, the, you know, the inside joke, which isn't really an inside joke, because I did it right here on YouTube. Is Monica's favorite joke. I want to do one for you, Monica. I want to do, do, imagine that. Imagine that. A filthy little guy like that with his own table at Rails. You know, you never know. You sound like do the it. guy from uh, Rocky. What's his name? No, that's Meredith. a little bit different. Burgess Meredith was more, a little bit different. Burgess Meredith was more like this. Rock, he's going to get you, Rock. This guy He's was like this. You. What? This guy was more like this. Was a little closer to poop. Oh, thank happy. you, HC. Anyway, so um, what was I gonna say? Somebody just wrote something. What was it? Hold on. Oh, what was I gonna read? Oh, thanks, Classy. Imagine that. What was I gonna read? He's more like that guy, Pepper Sam, the guy who was the original Chuck guy who did the voice. Oh, what Jack, it? that's Pepper what Pepper Sam, the guy who did the... It Actually, I do that voice. That guy's voice, the Imagine That Guy. His voice is not like Burgess Meredith. His voice is more like Pepper Sam, that guy who was Sounds the original like voice of Popeye. Yes. He was the original voice of Popeye before. But he was such a drunk, apparently, that they had to replace him with the guy that we all mostly know. Okay, the so one wait. who went, and skippy pa pa po do to to Chop Cell said your parents sound like such good parents. Her parents? Yes, they were nice. Your, meaning all of us. All of her, all of her parents. <laughs> what, you don't think your mother was such a good parent? She's okay. <laughs> oh my God, Aunt. Mom. <laughs> anyway, she's looking she down would, at you now, She would Aunt. smack me in the head right Anthony, now. Anthony, <laughs> Anthony, she would. By the way, I'd, make, I'd say the same joke with her sitting right here. You would, and she would be smirking and laughing. Anthony, Jack said, if I was in front of a camera, I'd be stuttering like like Ralph Cramden doing an Apple Core commercial. But can it core a apple? I, apple? Yeah, she was ha, ha. too. She had the long nails. The woman was like four foot. She had these long nails, right? Aunt? And she played She's the numbers every nailed. week. She had no money, but she played the numbers every day. They week. all played the numbers. They all played the numbers. They all always they played the play numbers. They all played the lottery. And she always won. I was like, like, how do you know? How do you pick these numbers out? Pick a better <laughs> number. 
pick the bigger, add some numbers to that and win the lottery. Win the big lottery. Add some numbers. She always played the number. She always said, run down the street and get me a hot dog. Run. <laughs> I'm going to get some she hot dogs. She was colorful, right? Man. That guy was his bro the hot dog man. He lived up the block. I'm going to put it this way. If I there had a hot dog man I'm passing me on my house, sidebar. I, would be, I would be sitting outside. I wouldn't wait to go down the stairs. I'd be down Here's there already. Here's a sidebar. Right Here's a sidebar. I hate, we're, I know we're losing the audience, but I'm going to do a sidebar anyway. I know, it's too old. Sidebar. Here's Maybe we should have put some cocoa on. Yeah. Everybody that lived, that, you know, obviously I lived on a block when I was a kid. Look when I went to get the, When I went to get the hot dog. I lived on a block. Uh -huh. Okay, I keep talking. Make it easy. I lived in a neighborhood, obviously, as we all do. As we do. I lived in a neighborhood. And obviously the block went in two directions. Oh, it's almond like croissants, this. not almond horns. It's an almond croissant. That's why it looked different. Okay, so in those days, looking out the window, the you hot dog man coming? was this direction when I was a kid. It was in the coming from this direction, looking out of our We're window. We're in Belmont. We're still in so Arthur Avenue. I'm looking out the window, and it's coming from this. That's the hot dog man. The We're hot dog man North was Arabia. down this block. There was this direction on the Roy block. Roy loves the sidebars. Yes, yeah, sidebar. <laughs> there was this direction on the block, and there was that direction on the block. That direction in the block was everybody was odd looking. Like strange, like people, like they were exposed to radiation, Sorry, and like kind of like, like something was a little bit off, <laughs> like like that, like like or they were out in the sun too long. Like the hot dog what man, the, the hot dog man was browner than this table. He's so he was mean, in the guys. sun because he was he was in the because he sold hot dogs. I assume he was out in the sun for four thousand consecutive burning hot summers. So like he was always out, he was always out in the sun. He looked like he must. He looked like a catcher's man. He looked like an old catcher's man. Right, he was like his, 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 his face was shriveled up. But he wasn't the only one. There were other people who weren't out in the sun all the time. There was the woman. And who they looked like somebody. catcher. Oh, yeah. you Remember mean, her? There was a woman. I hesitate to say it because this mean, sounds man. mean. Stop. But she was the most problematic-looking woman. In, and I ever have known in my life. Virginia said very leathery. What did they say, Virginia? Said, very leathery. Very leathery. Very leathery, Virginia. Very leathery. I'm going to use that. Do you mind if I borrow that for right, future? Mama? Is it Do you still mind if off? I borrow that? No. I'm going to cre credit you in copyrights. So that's a copyright oh, wow. claim, Virginia. Uh, I'm going to, but I'm going to credit you, Virginia. <laughs> Virginia, no, AKA HC teacher. Uh, very the direction leathery. On the block, Roy direction said. on the block. Direction on the block. Sounds like a boy band. The so direction cool. on the block. Like boys. Not on the new block. kids on the block right. or new direct or one direction. Direction on the block. Classy says crumbled up newspaper looking people. Crumbled up newspaper looking people. There was a woman who would look like a crumpled up newspaper. She looked like she'd been mm. left out in the sun way too long. You're so mean. She was like very odd looking. My gift, she said. She had horrifying <laughs> hair. She was scary. My mother, like, did not like her. I'm going to be honest. My mother did not like her. I'm not naming her. We're My mother did someone. not like the lady. She wasn't nice. Is this a sidebar did not or like a story? This is a sidebar, sort of. My mother did not like her. But my mother had another friend that she did like. And they would often discuss this she other says woman. those are my kind of people. Who looked like a crumpled up newspaper. <laughs> she would often leathery, discuss this woman. If that's a word. Very leathery. She was even more leathery than the guy who was out in the listen, sun. Listen, listen, 4,000 consecutive burning hot Listen, summer. Aunt Loaf, this is where he gets unhinged. We're about to end. Now he's going to get unhinged. about to get unhinged. He's unhinged Aunt at the end. It's leathery, so like, Aunt Loaf. So he had an and excuse. And voices are not This sales. woman didn't have an excuse. So my mother had a friend. Um, my mother had a friend, and the friend was interesting. There's a whole sidebar no, no, about no, the, the friend sidebar. and her daughter and how I knew her daughter. There's a whole <laughs> sidebar about that. <laughs> the, 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 like, like that family that had the, she, she got married, and then she had the name of a well-known singer. And Danette and I used to always like do an impression of the guy at the wedding who did the wedding dance. You know, the wedding band singer. I don't know what Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Oh, fill in okay, the blank. Okay. I shouldn't do it. Don't I do won't it. do it. Mean. But it was a singer. Stop famous doing singer. this because the table's moving. All right, I won't do it. But we have stabilization in the new phone. 
Anyway, <laughs> so the woman who looked like the crumpled up newspaper, my mother and her friend were talking know, about her because they didn't like her. I don't know. And they said, what's the matter with her? And they said, and my mother apparently said something like, I don't even know what he's talking about. I don't about. even know. I don't know how this is. How is it even possible? Like, well, you know, the thing about her is, I don't even know what they were talking about. Myrna, but wake up. Point, Antloaf. Myrna, wake up. Go ahead. That's too anyway, I, I don't even, even know hear, what they were talking about. I don't know what you're about. saying anymore. I lost it. I the sidebar know. makes no sense. What are we talking you're about? They, she's interrupting I the sidebar. Your sidebar and let me makes tell no you, sense. when she interrupts the sidebar, it's very leathery. Anthony, what are we talking about? It's very leathery when she interrupts the sidebars. So anyway, that's right, AC. My mother, my mother and her friend were talking, and I don't even know what they were talking about about the the crumpled up newspaper woman. So like, they, they, at one point. My mother's friend goes like this and goes, yeah, but the thing you gotta say about her is she has some body. And then my mother kind of went like this. Yeah, I guess so. So it's a like, leather face with some body. Some, it was very leathery, but Can't like- Can't be perfect but everywhere. Like, man, that, that body. Man, that bikini body. <laughs> But very leathery. We're talking about 40 years before we knew her, right? I hope. I don't know why Are they were going to the beach the woman together. woman that had the long coat? Yeah, the long the coat woman. Okay, so she was ugly No, she when didn't she have a son. Old. That was her so boyfriend. So I don't know what happened. That was her boyfriend. Is the Anthony boyfriend. making a diary of face again? No, that was her boyfriend. No, <laughs> you heard what, what, what Danette just said, crumpled up newspaper woman? She referred to her as the woman with the long coat. Now, the reason Danette said that... Is because you didn't see nothing but a I head never saw and a anything. coat down to the so floor. So it was head and feet and coat. And the woman was ugly, in the I'm summer, sorry. In the summer... I'm me now. In the summer, she would wear the long coat. And it was one of them puffy coats. You know, like the puffy shirt, except it's like the coat. A plan to make his and the shipwreck face. Yes, it was a puffy <laughs> coat, and it was a long <laughs> coat. So all you saw was feet and a head. So I, my mean. initial thing was, who says I mean? No, we called that dreamboat body with shipwreck face very mean. I know. Very Hollis mean. Says. It is mean, <laughs> but true. Anyway, <laughs> so an there was side. only a head and feet. So like now my initial reaction was I'm kind of wondering when did my mother's friend see this woman's body because <laughs> I never saw it. I think it's well, just like, that part yes. of the story I don't know we about. We don't see the body. She only wore because I never saw a body. But Anthony, that's what a legend. At the beach? What is that called? Like a, a legend? It was like an urban legend. It's an urban legend. The urban legend. I might. I think my mother actually said that. I th she no, didn't she use didn't. The phrase I just said urban it. legend. But she said like this. Yeah, I think that's just a rumor. Yeah, because we never see her I body. I never saw her body. You only see a coat. I saw a coat, and there was. I saw a coat, but my mother's friend insisted she had a body. She looked body. like what's from that when show? Did she see it? What's that show where the where the guy's bald? He has the two the two light bulbs in his ear. It's just a coat. Uncle Fester. Yeah, it was like Uncle Fester. All you saw was a head. She had short hair. She wasn't good looking. A long coat. And a long all coat. All the way down to the floor where you, all you saw was feet. You couldn't you couldn't really even see her shoes. She wore she wore boots. She always thought it was winter. She must have caught. That's right, Dolly. She must have caught a glimpse of that body somewhere. That but was I want to know. See, that. all Not these Dolly. years later, the thing that preys on my mind is <laughs> where, where did she catch a glimpse of that woman's body? Monica said maybe she. <laughs> the stripper. Yes. Yeah, Which also like makes Fester. me think to myself, where did this woman that was friends with my mother? Why was she going to strip clubs? Okay, wait. Now I have a sidebar. Here's my sidebar. Leathery bar. lady on the pole. Yes, it is not very solemn any for St. Joseph's Day conversation. This is not a very solemn conversation. <laughs> okay, I have Saint a sidebar. I, San Giuseppe. I have, I know you guys, I've Where's told Giuseppe? you. Where's Giuseppe? When we Giuseppe were in, in Ikea buying some stupid furniture that Anthony, by the way, I forgot to tell you, did put together. I had told you guys that I have. It's together. Here's like a little blemish right there. I have um, a pimple. I have um, Rosie, uh, Rosacea. So Rosacea. I go to the the, thermatol the dermatologist every now and then, and there was a picture on the wall, she has on the wall, of a man 
with a one, great body. <laughs> it was a picture of a man with somebody. Stop! Let me save my sidebar. Right. One of the let up anyway. Right. So She's one side of his things. face was normal, like this, right? And the other side was like leather. It was hanging. It was hanging and we could see dark, really bad, like bad. It was really bad. It looked so bad. It almost but looked like- But that was a real read. That was a no, reason. No, let me tell my sidebar. So- Her sidebars are a lot more serious than no, mine. No, this is serious, but I just want to educate because I thought it was interesting. I didn't know. She's going to give you an I education. I wish I had a picture. Actually, you could Google it. Google it. Man, Man in the sun. Wait, I'll find it and I'll, I'll let you know. But you could Google it. She told me to do that. It's a picture of a man, an older man, but he doesn't look old on this side. He only looks old on that side. Long story short, he almost looked like he had a little bit of a stroke. And I said to her, I said, what is that? Why do you have a picture? What is like? I was staring at it, looking at it while I was waiting for her to come in for the appointment. It turns out the man was a... Uh, um, a truck driver and over like 50 years he was a truck driver and the one side of his face was the had side the with sun, the sun facing him and it was sun damage it was so crazy look it up you can look it up a man truck driver with sun damage look it so up you'll just see one side it. of the guy's face had anyway that was my sidebar continue the Talk next sidebars yourself. are more scientific than well, mine. I wanted to share that. It was interesting. You can look it up right now. I'm it was it interesting. It's very I'm interesting. Go ahead, say something. Who was that? Oh, that's Mr. Croc face. <laughs> hey, hold on. I'm going to look it up for Jack. you. Hold on. Hold on. Been, Jack, you're giving me a run for my money. <laughs> oh, my God. But I'm I'm serious though. There he is. Wait. All right. She had a better picture, but I mean, this is okay. Here it is. Look at one side of his face. See it? The other side is smooth. Look, you could even see like the indentation of his. Uh, you could see the indentation right here of his like jaw, right? Well, look at the other side. There's no indentation. Do you see that? That's just from being in the sun. Wait sun a damage, did, too much did somebody sun. Somebody just put that in the chat. A mug shot. Well, said. I mean, isn't that amazing? See, you get education on this you channel. Get, see, you even get educated. You even get educated. I told you about like why it's called why it's called Thank Off you, the Avenue Thank because you. somebody loved. Wow, what happened? Yeah, exactly. Glad he didn't have a sunroof is right. Well, it was, you know, it's a truck. You a found, you truck found truck. it HC. Yeah, Brittany. look how fast. She was faster than me. So, it's so, you see, you get a little education. Yeah, exactly. You find exactly, out why it's called HC. Arthur Avenue. It is sad. It is sad. Because maybe it he would have had is. like a sunscreen or something. I mean, his face, it's like... He's walking around now with looking older and looking younger. It's kind of sad. But that's why the dermatologist has that picture because and I she's get, gonna try and sell you on putting on that sunscreen. And I've visited her maybe three times over Which the last Which sounds six like months. a good idea. I yeah, she tries. To, yeah, it's very important, very important, especially for your lips. A lot of people don't put sunscreen on their on lips, the lips, and then they don't get forget. cancer. They get sun cancer on it. It's really sad. We have the people in our family that had skin yeah, my cancer. Family. Like that so anyway, I think my mother had it on her nose. <coughs> she did. That's why you have to go to dermatologist too. Don't sleep on the dermatologist. Yes. But anyway, um, so when I first went into our office, I, I was like staring at this man, and I was like, "Oh my goodness!" And that's my story. And that's a sidebar. Jack ran. <laughs> what did Jack say? Of course, that took the many, many years. To a passenger as to many even years it out. for that to happen, because we're talking about sun in your in Jack, the window, you know. I am gonna like give Jack a that an is ears, an, yeah. that is an excellent one, Jack. <laughs> He's, uh, Jack's that had is, a lot of doozies that today. Is, that is an excellent Jack's one. Jack's been on a roll you get all a, day. You, you get <laughs> it is you get two snaps for that one. It is interesting, and who knew, right? 
Now, obviously, if you're going for a ride in the car uh, and you're getting a little sun and it doesn't happen That's all happened time, to me, actually, yeah, in, you my, feel in a warm. minor situation. Well, you feel warm. You say to yourself, I go, Anthony, it's kind of cold in here. I have the air conditioner on. And he'll say, well, I'm not cold. I'm hot because the sun is here. Sometimes I'll get a little. And because I so have, road like, um, too. I get, get car sick. I don't know if anybody else has car sickness problems. I occasionally do get car sick. And like, like when I'm sitting on the sun side of the car, I really can't do you things like read. Yeah, I can't nauseous. do things like concentrate on stuff. I have trouble concentrating even, like when I'm on that side That's of the good, car. Because the good. sun is hitting my face. I'm getting very warm. And like the net's perfectly normal, but I'm not. Anyway, <clears throat> also when we have, like we, got to, we went to the optometrist. Anyway. Another thing I didn't know, well, I knew, but she says that when you're in the sun, always wear sunglasses, no matter what, because as you get older... Especially me, apparently. Yeah, because as you get older, your cataracts, you can get cataracts and it can film much faster. You can slow the process if you wear sunglasses. Yes. I already wear sunglasses, and you should always as well. Because we have blue and hazy has hazel eyes. I have blue eyes, blue gray eyes. Did you notice that? And I get, you get the sun. Like my eyes always bother me in the sun. It's like the pigment is, it's more sensitive. That's all. So I already wear them, but sometimes you forget them, you know? That's proof not to stick your head out the window when the bus is moving. But can you That's imagine right. how many years this man drove a, 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 a truck to have that happen to his face? Isn't that amazing? I feel yes. bad for him because really you could tell the difference. And when I you get older, you really could tell um, the difference. You know? I imagine it could also be like that. Like if you're a person that like like drives drives anything, like you drive like you're driving a train and you leave out one one window or something. Anthony, I think we should end it. I think that you guys are amazing people. You guys are wonderful. You, you've made our day. You've made St. Joseph's Day memorable. It's St. Joseph's Day was we memorable. We had a great time. We and you're red with things, things as you get older. That's right. That's right. And I know my mother had a mac maculate degeneration. I don't know how to say it. But maculate she had, degeneration. Yes. And her eyes started to get big. They started to get big. They, she didn't look the same as she did when she was young. Thanks, Johnny. Take care, Johnny. And we got to go out to dinner with you, too. So we have... You have, we have to plan that as well. We didn't forget. Definitely. It. We're taking you out to dinner, Johnny. We're going to take you out. You have out. that, George. That's right. You did tell us. Do you ever have pain? That's right. Do you have those little things? I took it when my mom passed. Those little things, you look into it. And it has like it, it has like this. And if you can't see the cer like if you can't see the center, it's like an eye thing. Um, the, the doctor would give you. And it kind of shows you. You're welcome. It shows you whether you have uh, you that, that disease, in other words. Joy see sees floaters. the floaters. Sometimes I, don't see I see that, that too. Floaters. But Her father always. had a bunch of floaters. Yeah, my father. I my see mom minor is almost amounts blind of floaters. Oh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, that's, that's, that, that's terrible, Leela. <clears throat> But I know how scary it is. My mother had it as that was the least of her problems. But you know, she took, she did a lot of the drops. A lot of the, I forgot what it was. There's something, I clean. I don't know. There's some things. Maybe Joe. Uh, That's right, maybe George uh, knows, Stephen. The slower, first is less slower. than two weeks away. That's right, and we have to do that. The first. Then Ed already has some plans in mind. I've got she plans does. for things before Easter, and we're gonna have She's fun. She's got some things. Some I'm Easter sorry if we don't go up. live. I just want to say something, not a PSA, but I know that you guys like want to see us more. A lot of you have sent messages, and when are you gonna come on? Thank you, Margaret. Always great to see you, Margaret. Margaret, thank you anyway, so much. Anyway, the reason why we don't go live more, one simple reason, it's one answer, and that's it. It's because I work a 40-hour job, and I'm always working. And when I have a day off here and there, we have to do what our regular things. We have appointments like the eye doctor or whatever. And we try to get some in. I, th I think that's the reason why we have such longs. And I don't want to make it long. I take care, Joey. I don't want it to be long. Like I like this, I thought would be a little long to be eating in a restaurant. Hi, Jack and Jen. Jack and Jen, how but, you doing? You know, What's up? In the future, if we go live some more, we're going to try and keep it to a minimum. Maybe an hour and a half to two hours, the most. Because I understand how long it is. And you guys, that's why I want to thank you so much for being here with us, especially the ones who came in and out and came back and watched what we were doing. All of you, actually, because I know it's a Sunday. It's your day off, too. Everybody's got stuff to do. 
There's other live streamers. There's always somebody else to watch. Hi, Jay-Z. Thank you so much, Jay-Z. Great to see you. How dare you have a life? But really, I have a full-time job. This thing we do here, this gig. <laughs> Hi, Bamagator again. Bamagator, hey. This is not our job. This is just for fun. And that's why we have so much fun. I know, Roy. I know you like them all. So maybe we'll still have them all. For, for the long Wait. ones? Let's... So because of my job, we can't just go live. I'm not going to quit my job. I love my job. I have a great job. And that we do this for fun. If something changes in the future, we'll let you know. We'll let you know if anything changes. When I, I have my calendar and I figure out what we're going to do, I definitely want to go to Macy's um, Flower Show. I used to go with my mom years ago before she passed. A long time ago, I have a lot of great memories walking around Macy's with my mom. She loved flowers, she loved horticulture, she loved animals, she loved all of that. She gave to animal sanctuaries, she loved dogs and cats, as do I and my Absolutely. brothers. My entire family were animal lovers. So, you know, between the flowers and the animals and this guy here, you know, we just want to share mm -hmm. what we like to do, right? One of the things we like to do is eat. You guys know that. And we, got so, a couple, we got a couple of things over here. Jack says, uh, this has been great. Thank you. And I did not you, intend Jack. to be insensitive towards people with, with issues. Jack, we all know that, it. Jack. It's Jack, just joking stop. around. No, don't this you is dare. All goofy. Don't you dare. This is all goofy fun. Don't you fun. dare, Jack. We know you're only joking. We know you're Nobody only joking. Here Everybody here has knows to apologize. that you're joking you're around. Just like I'm joking Jack, around. Jack, we love you. Jack, we gave you a wrench a long time ago because we love you. And yes. even if you don't uh, contribute links or whatever, don't worry about it. We're all joking around, we including all joking. myself. Yes. Anthony, I'm not always nice. <laughs> Anthony loves his mother. He makes fun of her constantly. You have no I idea. I can't help myself. You, have, you guys have no idea. I could be in the living room and he's in in the bedroom and he's going come on aunt. and he's making fun of her constantly. i'm still doing my mom an impression her. of my mother you guys have no clue when she's what i gotta passed. go through and it just makes it like she's alive like we're always thinking about them and they're always here with us so that's how we deal with them not being yes. because we miss them so much but anyway i don't want to take any more and of your time george said something about his oh, uh, eye situation oh, also i know there's no, no cure, cure. So it's improving. Need to go every six months. Well, that's excellent. If you're going every six months, that means you're doing great, George. I'm so happy for you. I'm so yeah. happy. There it's are not that drops. A cure, but there are I don't things remember you can what do. it is right now, but there's something that you can have that slows it. And it really did slow it for my mom. She didn't have to yes. worry about it. Anymore. It could be slowed down. She was going Look. like every week, and then then she changed something. And I have it written down. I don't remember what it is. But Liz is also having cataract surgery on Thursday. Oh, no. Good luck with that. She wears her sunglasses all the time when perfect, she's out. Perfect. The bright light Good bothers her you, eyes. Uh, she Liz. had cataract surgery ever since she had cataract surgery on her other and eye. And you're going to see so, so much better. it's going to be great oh my God, when they when it's finish done, the eye. Anthony's mother had the cataract. Eyes. It's like she said she couldn't see like that since she was like a teenager. It was amazing. Yeah, she was so, remember, once they finished the second eye, she was so much better off. Uh, oh, hi, Coconut Telegraph. Good, good luck to, see to you. you. Look, good luck to you, Coconut Liz. Tell, yeah, good luck. Coconut We're going to say prayers for you and George, you too. And listen, I remember that, I guess the first time I think I remember hearing... Hey, Jack and Jen. Welcome I think back. that uh, if Rev Jen is still in here. Oh, no, she walked the doors. Oh, no, there no, she is. No, Rev and Jen yeah, still here. Yeah, that was the first I time I remember. Surgery. Yes, I remember. You were in Colin James's live stream, and you were having cataract surgery. That was the first time I ever saw you. And I remember talking to you. You were the first person I ever spoke to in Carla and James. Uh, it was me who was in there, not Anthony. And I spoke to you for the very first time because I knew you were getting cataract surgery, um, Reverend Jen. And I said something to you and you said something to me and we had a little connection. And that was before we ever did lives. And I remember that really, yes, it was you. And you were the first person I ever talked to in Carla and James lives. And I said, Anthony, this woman, she's so nice. And I feel bad she's going to have that cataract surgery. But I knew my father had it, his mother had it. And I wanted to just tell you not to worry because things went good. everything was great afterwards. They, you know, it wasn't that bad. And so, good, you know, you're going to be okay, Liz. I know and you already Je had it done. Uh, we'll be thinking Reverend about Jenny you on says, Thursday. Reverend Jenny says oh. it's so nice to be able to see you so well again. Yes. And that's good news for you, Liz. Yes. If you're, if you're watching out there. If that's you're okay, watching, Jenny. Liz, I'm telling you we, We're all... 
everybody in the chat. Praying for you praying guys. Praying and keeping those fingers crossed. Yes. And sure everything will go wonderful for That's you. That's right. See, and we we'll want see you ends, back here. And then we always have something else to talk about. Have your kids wear sunglasses because it all begins very... When I was a child, I always wore sunglasses. I had the nice white ones when I was a kid in Jones Beach. I love sunglasses. Yes, my parents did the whole, uh, uh, you know, what was it called? What was the name of this? Remember what? when the Copitone. kids... Copper tone. For babies and kids, we had so much on us. We were white. White. It's Jeanette Trainer. Great uh, Yeah, she's been screen. here all the time, Thank you. Anthony. I did Get not with see it. you. I'm sorry. H I apologize. HC George is the HBO of mods. Our mods are the best. He's the anyway. HBO. He's the HBO Max of, of mods. Not so good here. Don't get it. It's all right. We just keep it real. That's our opinion. Somebody else could think it's, it's good. Okay. It's, it's okay. It's not bad. that great. I wouldn't it's come not here terrible. For it. It's not There's terrible. competition around here. But this place does make amazing ch you Italian want a good cheesecake. Yes. And the pizza oh. rustic is one of and the I best I've like ever Italian gotten in a baker. Here's good. Fran and Jack, my husband wants to know if you are a New York Rangers fan. Absolutely. freaking Oh, uh, yeah. I New am. York Knicks. Since the New beginning. York Mets. New York Rangers. Me personally, I also like the New York Yankees because I grew up a Yankee fan in the Bronx. She did. But I also, I know there's people out there that think I'm nuts, but hey, my Brianna. father loved baseball. So I like the Yankees and the Mets second. Now I'm a big Mets fan because of Anthony. I love going to the ball games. I'm all rah, rah, rah. When I was a kid, my parents took us to um, Boston. And that was amazing. All the memories and the, at, at, what is it called, Park? Starts with an F. What is it called? Fenway Park? Fenway. When you go and you see the, you see the um, Fenway Park so old, they have the beams in front of you. If you're sitting up at the, in the bleachers, and it's oh so great. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should take a trip to Boston and go to Fenway Park. Oh, that's a nice trip. We want to that's take nice trips, but trip. I don't know when I'm going to be off. we got to figure this all out. Anyway. She'll figure it out. Thank you, Adriana. You are awesome, too. We love all you. Thank yeah, you, go, Adriana. Nick's go. They're go doing good, go. aren't they? Well, and they Steven, were. They had a, they had Steven, a little speed bump. Steven, you have a, a show today at 6, right? Is it 6 today? They Is hit that? a speed bump. All right, they'll get back to it. Come on, you got to believe. Like the Mets say, you got to believe. You got to believe. Yankees, Giants, Rangers, Knicks. Okay. Yes, Anthony likes the Giants too. Not a big yes. football fan, but not he a always, big football fan. But he I likes used the to Giants. be a, when I was younger, I was a big football fan. I don't know. Over the well, years, you love baseball I and just kind of drifted away from it. And hockey, of course, Rangers. Yes, not all my. <coughs> I was. A, oh, you were you were a fan during the nineties, the Knicks. Who you was? You know what? Um, I was Jack a fan of the Knicks during the nineties. They were amazing in the nineties. My father used to watch basketball every single day. Uh, it was fun in the 90s, although they never could the quite get past, uh, obviously couldn't get past the okay, Bulls. Okay, if you guys are not doing nothing at 6 o'clock and you want to see our amazing Stephen Fox, Foxy, and his co-host over there, go and check out, there it is, Sports, Sports Vibes TV. TV. And just do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe to them. They're, they have an amazing, amazing podcast. Go ahead and subscribe. And 6 o'clock, every Sunday, as of now, go look and see the review of the New York Knicks. Hey, Jack and Jen, check them. Check uh, uh, Stephen Fox out. He's great, he talks about the team, talks about the plays, talks about everything. And they keep it real over there, which I appreciate. I think everything should be like real. The, we all Tell like the real keeping. everything the way it is. Right? That's right. I'm serious. We like the real I've keeping, seen Stephen. Right I there. watch it too. I see Stephen saying he's not doing good this time, or I wish he could have did this or that. That's when you get real information, when it comes from the truth, they keep, right? They, uh, they, they keep it real. They keep and it honest. real and honest, and it's, and it's very interesting. And I love the New York Knicks too. My mother used to go nuts. Do you remember her screaming? Come on, get it in the basket. She used to say, hi, Helena. Kitos? I don't know what that means. Kiddos. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's say goodbye. Kiddos. You're Hello. welcome. Thank you. Once the Mets no, traded no. Tom Seaver, that was it. Done with the Mets. Oh, we love that Tom was it? Seaver, too. Though. That was a long time ago. You got to forgive them by people. now. 1977. <laughs> My sport is getting off the couch. <laughs> but you wrote All coach, right. but I knew what you meant. All right, guys. All right. We love you. We'll see you next time soon. Yes, first of the month. If, you, if, you, if anybody's new here and doesn't know or they just didn't know, 
The first of the month, we go live every first of the month, every single time. Every bye, single Jenny. first of the month. Bye, HC. Bye, bye, bye everyone. Bye, bye, Classy, thank you for everything. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Sheila, Dwayne, Ron, the other Ron, Steven, Helena. I'm just looking. Tracy, Jenny. Your other right arm. Tracy. Uh, all of you. All of you. Holla. Oh, my God. All, all of you. Fran people. and Jack, thank you so much and for coming in. Coconut Telegraph, thank you. Um, HC Teacher, as always. Adriana, we love you. Everybody. George, and everyone that gave us super we'll see chats. You soon. Thank oh you my for God. your Thank generosity. You so much. Vivian. We appreciate Chop it. Chop Skull, we'll talk soon. Breezy Chambers and Capri. Bamagata, all of you, all of you, all of you. April, love talking to you, April. Safe home. Give Munchkin a kiss. I will give her many kisses. Talk to you she soon, will. Ron. Have a great day. Enjoy your week, everyone. Ciao. Bella. Bye. Go ahead, Ann. All right. Take us out. Take we'll us see out. you real soon. We'll be back. We'll be back. If we're not back before we end, we will be definitely back on April 1st, April Fool's Ooh, Day, damn. folks. And until then, thank you so much. Thank you from the bottom thank of you, our friends. hearts for all the super chats. And we'll and see you real stickers. soon. It is so, from so grateful. To yours. You. Thank you. Bye, and peace. guys. Bye, friends.